if you know that you have to pee and you decide to sit down instead of standing up <laughs> to pee. Wait, why is that crazy? <laughs> Why is that crazy? Because why are you peeing? Sit down. You're not a woman. No. How is that not crazy? Like, what if I'm, I'm like, yo, <laughs> what if I'm too tired to stand up? No, nah, but <laughs> you got to stand up. <laughs> like, all right, bro. Yo, all right, we all right. talked about, we talked, I don't know if niggas talked about, like, when it comes to urinals, right? Yeah. Are you going to pee on a little urinal, bro? No, I ain't peeing on the little urinal. You're peeing sitting down. That's equivalent to <laughs> Wait, me, what you mean? You're sitting, you're peeing sit up, sitting down. What do you mean? Like, you're peeing if I'm sit- using a little urinal? Yes, bro. I'm not using that little urinal. Yeah, but you're peeing sitting down. That's equivalent. To me, using a little urinal? Yes. Wait. Literally. <laughs> okay, hold on. Literally. Literally. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number. Do you know the episode, my brother? 66. Wait, I'm going to let, I'm a, wait, what? Like 66. 166? 166, yeah. Correct, okay. I know. Episode 166, I'm your host, DWAK, DWAK Darius. I got my co-host with me. Yo, it's your boy, Fritz, back in the flesh, you know. You know, I'm I'm here. What are you gonna say? I don't know. <laughs> I fuck, didn't know what he's fuck, fuck, Rewind it, bro. <laughs> he didn't know what I, I, Like I had something, but it's like I I, I lost it. <laughs> it's, it. Hey, that's a that's that's not that bad, bro. I'm but here, bro. He's just here, live and well. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff down below. And yeah, but before I get into the actually, you know, shout out to all our sponsors, shout out to SeatGeek, use code no regulars on SeatGeek if you want. $20 off any orders over $50 or more if you're new to SeatGeek. And shout out to our other sponsors, Prize Picks. Use code no regulars. If you put $5 in, you get $50 back, cash back guaranteed to use on any other picks or entries for Prize Picks. You can turn $100 into $10,000 just like that, people. But before we start the podcast, we got a lot of good things to talk about. But before, Fritz, I got to show you this. I was having I was having a real bad day today, Fritz. Really? Yeah, hold on. What the fuck is he doing? Y'all, y'all see what? It... I'm gonna show y'all this. You, s- you see this? Y'all in Jer- if y'all drove it driving through Jersey City today, and y'all seen a red co- uh, Corolla, this is what you look what the. They really took your shit off. You like yeah, that, bro? Bro, I literally walked out, and I'm like, I seen this on the floor. I'm like, that can't be mine. Look, but like, look where the thing snapped off. Yeah, like, you can't even put snapped, that back yeah, on. You can't, bro. That's just snapped off, bro. I'm like, nah, there's. That's m- why you don't drive in Jersey City, bro. That's why I hate driving Jersey City, all that narrow ass street, bro. <laughs> yeah. Who do you expect f- to have more than two cars in there, bro? Bro. Or two cars. Like, that. Like, that shit. Yeah, that shit snapped off, bro. bro that, your uh, your, your trip can't go inside. It can, but I'm like, I'm you gotta like, start doing that. That's your that's your problem. <laughs> wait, wait, I wasn't even that close to the thing. I was mad close to the curb. It don't matter, bro. You gotta <laughs> put your you gotta put your wind sh- your your um mirrors Winch- inside. Well, next time I am. This is crazy work, people. Yeah, that, Whoever that is- did this, I hope. I don't want to wish nothing. No, nah, I hope you get a flat tire in the worst possible part point in the world, like. In freaking uh, okay. Mexico. Oh, wow. Yes. I hope you get a flat tire. This is crazy. And you know what's also crazy? Me and Jay and <laughs> me and Jay and uh, her family we was playing pickleball the other day, right? And it was, I think it was, what was it, Friday night? Friday night? No, Saturday night. And they had a football game because it was like a football field mm-hmm. across the street from the pickleball course. So, like, you know, the kid, you know how in Pop Warner is like different levels and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, like, some of the young kids was running, running around, like, playing on the tennis course, like, playing the ball stuff or whatever. And then there was a bunch of, other kids, they had they had to have been like like seventh eighth grade, bro, and they started fighting. I'm like, hold on, are they get is this kid getting jumped? But they're laughing, like so they're play fighting, but they're actually swinging. Oh shit! Like they were jumping this one kid. I'm talking about at least like eleven to twelve guys in ski masks, cause ski masks. Yes, I thought you. I thought he was getting jumped like initiation, like in the, into a gang. I'm yeah, not gonna right. lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to YNs out there, but it'd be you, tweet. You, wasn't, you you didn't even try to help. <laughs> nah, like they was laughing at each other. Like it was like a oh, joke. Oh, like, it was they a were, joke. So they were playing around, but, oh, it's but like, they were swinging. They, they were swinging hard. I'm like, nah, this is od. That's not fun. Them niggas taking them niggas. <laughs> them niggas. That's how they play. Yeah, that's, that's what how I'm niggas saying. play. I'm like, that's how you play nowadays. Like I remember. Like they they chased Cuz up a slide and they got him down and started beating. They started taking his shoes. I'm like, it looked like he was getting jumped. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. 
And like he was trying to fight back. His friends was fighting back, and it wasn't working out for Cuz, bro. But, bro, when we was younger, we didn't do none of that, bro. Like, look, Fritz is looking at our freaking yearbook right now. He's going down memory lane. That's what we was doing for yeah, the last like ten I'm, minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> lie, bro. I'm going down memory lane right now. Hold on, bro. Let me, let me, let <laughs> Fritz me show been you locked the, in. Yo, I was a. I still look the same though, but like. <laughs> He just got a mustache. I do still look the same. I'm not gonna lie. Like I show like, me a picture. It's actually insane. But like, I was like, what good at? Hold on, let me show a picture of myself. What like, club was that? That you? Just, Fitness. Oh, that was A. Bro, look at what I was wearing, bro. Is that I a was polo? dressed to impress. Well, am I in there? You were in a tie. <laughs> <laughs> you have nothing to say. I was in a tie. <laughs> this nigga oh. knew his picture. Oh. This nigga Darius knew his. Hold on, oh. should I show? Him? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm gonna show everybody though. I'll probably put the picture up, but just show him just in case. Alright, look, look at this nigga. First, let me show you this nigga Darius, bro. <laughs> this is this is <laughs> Hold on, do you see it? You can see it in the camera? These wait, am I showing the right thing? <laughs> this hold nigga. Hold on, me, hold on, I gotta show you this. Because this is what I'm talking about, Chubby Darius. <laughs> this yeah. nigga right here. <laughs> This right here. Bro, I just had a little bit of baby fat on me, like, bro. What is he? What is he? Why is he wearing a tie? And me, I'm I'm somewhere in the green. You had the polo on though. Yeah, the long that. sleeve polo. That was tough. That was hard, bro. Long That's... sleeve polo, alright. Long sleeve polo, alright. Bro, I used to be Mr. Polo Ralph. <laughs> Do your homework on Mr. Polo Ralph, bro. <laughs> I used to have all the polo. Ralph wasn't, that your t- wasn't that your own? That was my Instagram name. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, bro. That was, yo, yo, in middle school. Mr. Polo this, Ralph. I think this nigga was, a to- was the one who told me to make an Instagram probably like in seventh, eighth grade. Yeah, bro. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me make an Instagram. And... And that was my first name, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm like, yo, which, what's gonna be my name? Fuck, fuck. <laughs> Mr. Polo Ralph. Mr. Cause P- I pay, I, I wear that shit, bro. Mr. Polo Ralph, two K, young two K guy. That was just your thing. no, <laughs> you bro. Just, stop being weird. That's just your thing. And stop being weird. <laughs> Cause why did you have to bring two Ks into? Hey, bro. I was Mr. Polo Ralph, bro. I had all the no Uspa, bro. I think I, I had the I had the USPA boots. You remember them uh, USPA yeah, the boots? USBA boots. I used to because you know some people had the the regular polo boots, the yeah, one with the them, zipper. Yeah, but them just was. I yeah, had, that was that was that was that was the that was the thing like polo boots. I didn't have those. I had the USPA yeah, boots. Yo, you trash. Mine just was black. You they didn't have them. In the, yo, I told you, bro. Remember when I came? I don't know if you remember. I came in with some. Uh, What's it called? I came in with them. Uh, I had some fake tens on. But they were like Christmas color. They were like green, black, and red. <laughs> bro, I do not remember that. You don't remember? Bro. We was in the homeroom and they started flaming me. They was like, what the hell color way is that? Oh, that is insane. You don't Where do you get them? No, I don't. I got them from my you? uncle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were yo, I thought they were real. I had a I remember I had my Walmart shirt on and I I, I put my fit out the day before. I'm like, damn, I'll be fly today. Oh, that's I'm about to impress everybody. And they start cooking me. Yeah, you deserve it. I ain't it. never wear them again. <laughs> come on, you deserve it, though. Like, come on. Yo, I tried, bro. Yo, do your oh, own yeah. on me, bro. Hold on, bro. Yeah, look at this picture of Fritz. That, <laughs> right there, bro. that man. I let, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like, they got I extra remember. Vaseline. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> yo, B, yo, I was not really that, that shiny. Don't even do that. <laughs> I was not that shiny. You're being weird. They're being weird. That was just the same color as this. <laughs> but, you shiny, but I ain't gonna lie, I was, stop being weird, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was one of those kids who like, because my mom used to tell me, bro, like you going to school, put a button up, like before, like I would think like school was like church, bro. <laughs> the way I was dressed, like I was just like dressed like, like I'm ready to go to church, like with a button up, a nice polo, like come on. That but that was but, the swag back then. That though. was kind of, was it though? Low key. I like, mean, to me, to me, bro. Because I, I did the same was, thing. <laughs> yeah, but I thought I was, you feel me? I had a button up over a polo sweater, bro. I was fly. I thought I, I'm fly, bro. I think bro. I'm fly. I remember that day too, bro. I think I had true religion jeans that day, bro. I was fly as You had bro. trues on? Word up, bro. I had true, trues with that. I definitely too. had some fake trues. <laughs> I, had some, I had a lot of fake clothes. But come on, bro. It is what it is. <laughs> like, it was bad. Yeah, that's because right. my uncle from Patterson, so he was like, he got. <laughs> You know when he had them shoes, bro, that uncle, bro. <laughs> he had a closet full of shoes. Them shoes was not real. Damn. Yeah, bro, it was bad. Patterson. Yeah, I yeah, remember he I gave would, me some. I even trust. He gave me some cough drop foams, bro. 
And you know how foams like if, if y'all know what foams is, like the foams, like it looked three D, like you can see it, like yeah. it looked like foam. My shits was like flat. flat. <laughs> Damn, it was bad. I think I gave him the ish to because he wanted he needed some basketball shoes, so I gave it to him. But bro, nah, bro, that is insane. The middle school years, but I remember, I remember there was a time where the the trend was skinny jeans. Skinny jeans, bro. Skinny jeans. I remember. Yeah, oh my god. Bro, my 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 trues were like, there wasn't like thick trues. Like there was like they weren't baggy. <laughs> nah, they wasn't baggy. There was like kind of like skin. It, it wasn't skinny neither. Like, like slim fit. There was slim fit. Yeah. Like trues and shit, and they had the white outline, outline and shit. Like I, I was fly as hell. Bro. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I don't, don't want to know how they say me. <laughs> I, the only thing I didn't have was shoes. <laughs> Word, bro. Like I'm dead serious. If I had shoes to go with it, niggas wasn't fucking with me, bro. Wait, what was just, what is the shoes that have, you had? Like you, bro. I didn't have I didn't have like the Jordans and shit. Um, so I would wear like I'd wear like damn, what shoes would I wear? Like what were you? Wearing? I remember like I wore like Kobe sevens. That's not bad. No, no, but like those were kind of the only shoes that oh. I had. Like, oh. like I had like. I had like Kobe sevens, like I had clothes, but I didn't have shoes because my parents didn't think shoes were important. But shoes, that's really what brings finished, the, it, it brings really, it together. Exactly, really yeah. finished the fit. Uh huh. They didn't understand that. They thought clothes was it, and not only that too. They would bring me. They would give me like instead of like shoes, sneakers. They'd buy me boots. <laughs> Nigga, I don't want boots. I wanna, I want, I want, I want to wear some. You feel me? I want to wear some, some sneakers because they think like, like I said, bro. It was, it, you thought, you thought like, you would have thought that me going to school, I was going to church, bro. The yeah. way I was dressing, but like I wanted, but I knew what I wanted. I want, but they, I guess they either couldn't afford it, or they just didn't want it. So they. So I'd buy. I don't know what it was with me. I think I was just so late with everything. Right. Like I was like I because I this is what I remember the trend was it was either it was foam posits and then True Religion jeans and Hollister shirts. Mm. I remember that's what everybody used to wear like the Hollister shirts. But I used to wear Hollister shirts like in high school when like it wasn't cool no more. Like everybody started moving on right. to like the True Religion shirts and right. like Amber Carmi and Fitch. I'm like now nah, right. I'm on. I'm like what happened to the holiday? Right. Yeah. I used to get my clothes like damn. Like yeah, I'm about to be fly. I got them in Christmas <laughs> and like nobody wearing them. I'm like damn. Like I'm this behind. I used to always think that. I'm like nah, there's no way. And I remember, oh my god, I remember the fit I used to wear. I used to have these these khaki pants, right? And it was mad skinny, <laughs> like OD skinny. Like I'm talking about like hugging my 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 leg. legs. And then I used to have. I don't forgot what shoes I had on. And I used to have a, I used to wear a button up shirt. I don't know. I was probably looking crazy. Yo, you know what's crazy? I didn't even notice that you wore button ups like like I did like back in the day. I guess I don't know. Like, what, I didn't know you did. I don't think I wore it as much as you, you but I wear did wear much. some button up. Like there was some days I I want I don't know why there was like a thing where it's like looking formal was cool. Like, well, it, it was yeah. I thought it was cool. Yeah. I like, mean I mean the thing is though like if you think it's cool, what like who gives a fuck? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it's, yes, you. it's yes. If it's your style, like wear that shit. Yeah. But. I, I felt like I over. I I used to. Do it. <laughs> I used to. I used to spam it. I used to chill. Like uh, it's to the point. I I needed to chill. But like, if you think it's cool, like wear that shit. But like, yeah, the it's not until like, probably like I say the beginning of high school where I'm like, bro, I want some shoes, bro. Like I like I'm looking at everybody having shoes. I'm like, yo, I need some shoes because you know, the two schools yeah, merge. Yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, so you gotta, school. you gotta like. So I'm watching mad people. Yeah. With mad shoes, like yeah. the white boys mad shoes. I'm like, yo, I need those. Yeah. So it's like, and that was during the days where like people used to wear basketball shoes as like a fit. Right. Like they used to wear the Lebrons and the Kobe's as a fit. Literally, that's that's literally what I was wearing. Yo, I remember, bro, my Instagram picture, bro. I had, I had a white. Yo, it's crazy. That's, <laughs> that's how insane it is. Bro. You know the Kobe Seven that I'm talking about, yeah. right? I had, I had, um, a, a a polo sweater. Yeah, like a navy blue polo sweater, or probably a black polo <laughs> sweater. Whatever the case was, something under it, a button under it, some some jeans. Yo. Mind you, the Kobe shoes came with ankle braces. 
They were basketball shoes. Oh, you had. I, yeah. I wore the ankle braces like I'm ready to play ball type shit. <laughs> nah, that's OD. That is OD. Like, like the Kobe <laughs> shoes. Like the Kobe shoes came with ankle braces, bro. I'd play basketball with Kobe's. I play. I, I'd go to school with the Kobe's. Those were like the only shoes that I had, except like the only sneakers that I had. Like wow. I wanted, sh- like everything else I had, like boots. Like, were like, you those kids? Like when you used to like get like stuff for Christmas. Like you know, I don't know if you ever had them Instagram posts where like you get your clothes. <laughs> I remember. I got my sneakers for Christmas and I would line them up in my room and I'd take a flick and be like, Christmas was OD this year. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, yo, you know what's crazy, bro? <laughs> I wasn't those types, but my feed was spammed with that, bro. And bro. I would see people with beats. Yeah. All that <laughs> shit. Yo, you know how many beats I see in yeah. one in one Christmas? <laughs> I was mad as shit. <laughs> Yo, niggas the caption. And that's when beat, the beats came out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, yo, yeah. We really showing our age. I know, <laughs> like, right? But it's like, yo, Christmas was OD this year. Like, or literally, like Merry that's Christmas. Li- that's literally the caption. Uh-huh. Christmas this year. Yeah. Fire emoji. <laughs> like, like blowing my shit. <laughs> niggas had the blue beats. Oh my sneakers, bro. All I had for Christmas. The probably. LeBron tens. LeBron. Oh my. Remember god. Remember the ones with the with the crystal on the. On oh the toe? my god. Everybody used to get the. It was like green or something like yeah, that. Yeah, there was there was one of those, and there was the KDs. Yeah, yeah, bro, niggas who had the KD. Was it fives? Let me let me think, bro. I gotta check, bro. Was it KD fives? I don't know, bro. The KDs. Hold on. Wait, what? K, first of all, what number are we at now? Yeah, I don't know. Not like not, <laughs> no, not the fives. Seven. It had to be sevens. Hold on, let me see. Was it like these these ones with the strap on the top? No, 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 no. But hold on, let me. I got it. Sixes? Uh, these? It gotta be these. Yes, those <laughs> two, bro. These, those, and it had to be one LeBron. Hold on, it had to be LeBron. K- yeah, it was those KDs and LeBron. Let me see LeBron tens. Those, these LeBrons. Yep. Like, yep. like yep. I would see these every single time, and I'd be so pissed, bro. I'd yeah. be like, "Yo, this is insane, bro." And then things was bread. Like those were bread. Those bro. was OD. Like I remember, like the shoes back then. Like actually. I wonder how much the shoes are now, like or like the for like the kids and shit. Because the kids shoes back then, I remember phone posits was like two fifty, them Lebrons was like pushing two hundred, yeah. like one ninety. Yeah, bro. Like that joint was OD, bro. Like I was really like looking through them uh, yearbooks, bro. Maybe go that memory late OD, bro. Literally, I was literally. I was talking like I was talking to Jay, bro. Remember how we got so many Instagram followers, bro? Bro. The method that we did, <laughs> bro, yo, I still got Nick, yo, but I right, so <laughs> niggas who don't know, bro, that's the only reason why I got. How many Instagram. you got? I got like twelve k. Twelve. That's a twelve k. Twelve, like twelve hundred. Yeah, twelve hundred. But I probably would have been. Oh, I probably. I was at two thousand at one point. <laughs> Damn, I was dead at that two thousand one point, bro. I have a. I have a. It's another Instagram because I thought my Instagram was hacked. I probably just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I just but, forgot the password. But like, but like, but like, yeah. Um, I was at two K at one point, and I remember. Hold on, let me show you, bro. I think I find, I got it right here. What you got a picture or something? Hold on. But nah. What we used to do is though, like me and me and right Fred's here. freshman year, we was like, I right, we would follow mad people, like the max amount of people you could follow back then. And back then it was like maybe like two hundred people, and then we would wait. The next day, that's when they will follow us back, and then we'll unfollow them. And like, yo, in a week, I went from like eight hundred to like eighteen hundred, bro. Yo, literally, bro. Like, literally, yo, right here, bro. Like, this is my old profile, bro. Damn, that's how bad it was, bro. Let me see. You have a picture of it? <laughs> this is my old profile. I don't want to show you, bro. See. I don't hold see. me, bro. That's my old profile. <laughs> Damn, bro. Let me see. But anyways, it's that got hacked that two K. You know, that Wait, was what's me the name of? That's young God. <laughs> <laughs> There's pictures on there? Yes. Oh, no, wait. No, what no, you mean? <laughs> no. I don't want to show. Yeah, this is scary. But like, but like, yeah, I was hacked. I had 2,000 at one point. But then, <laughs> and I was real active. I was one of those niggas who was like literally on Instagram. OD. And like, like literally. Yeah, bro. Yeah, but, and, and not only that, you had to get the app too. Like oh, it was yeah. an ad that showed you what follow, who follows who follows back. you and they'll follow you back. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I remember and that. Niggas who didn't follow me back. 
Do your I'm, homework on getting unfollowed. You unfollowed them yo, immediately. You was, you was going, yo, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Oh my god. I was gosh, at two thousand one point. I'm at twelve hundred. It's been, it's been like ten years. Ten years. Yeah. yeah. So I, like, I'm at like sixteen. I think I was, I was at like a good. I don't know if I was at two thousand or maybe just eighteen hundred, but I was at a good amount. And then they, they just started going downhill. But yeah. I, hey, bro. That 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 was when we was like, nah, we gotta get the followers. Followers, we would we could have been at five k. We would have yeah. tried for real. Yo, we could have <laughs> been at mad followers. Like it was working. And that was back then when niggas used to buy. Uh, like yep. you can buy followers and yep. buy likes. We didn't do that. Nah, nah we was grinding yeah, yeah. for real. We we yo, I was up late night, <laughs> spamming. Hey, whoever you follow, I'm spamming. <laughs> I used like, to text Fritz. I'm like, yo, Fritz, yo, like, go, to, <laughs> go to this guy's page and follow everybody. <laughs> Me and Fritz yo, is every day, bro. insane, bro. That's really how it was, bro. Yeah, bro. Followers were really the shit. Yo. And, oh, I was, yo, I seen something on TikTok the other day. And this is why I was bringing up a lot of stuff about, like, that's why I brought the yearbook. Because they was talking about the gate program. Do you remember the gate program? The gate? The gate, like G-A-T. It's like no. gifted and talented education or something like that you don't remember bro i remember it because i don't know if you remember it was when we were like in elementary school or middle school like they took random kids out of the classrooms and they would put you in these rooms it was like a dim it was like rooms with like the shades off like the blinds down and it was like a little dark and they'll put like headphones on you You had to hear stuff oh you remember wait, that wait wait here's here's stuff like how like here like different if there's if there's if there's like a beep yeah, the little beeps and stuff. Either really? It was like beeps or like I remember I don't know if I like I'm I don't know if I'm mixing this up when I was in college, but I remember you could hear like 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 let me know when you could stop hearing the 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 beep. Really? Like I remember I remember like they I don't remember that though. But like so the whole program was supposed to be for like, you know, the gifted and talented, like the really smart people. Yeah. But they didn't pick those people. Like they picked like random people, supposedly. And they'll put them in these rooms. And I remember they made us do like the little the hearing test mm -hmm. and they made us do puzzles. And it was like it was really weird puzzles. And I don't know. I don't remember fully, but I remember other people were saying that they did puzzles where it's like you had to like they, they'll cover it and you have to remember like the shapes. Really? And like there's like a whole thing going on. Like you did it before. I remember going into a room and I had the headphones in and like hearing something, but I don't remember like the puzzles because it had to been yeah, like I don't remember puzzles either. I remember going into a room and hearing um. They would be like, they would tell me like, I guess where the beep was at. There, it would be a beep. Yeah. And they would tell me like, maybe it's a different thing, but they would tell me like, oh, where did you hear the beep or some shit like that? Yeah. And you would have to point or like where. where it was something like that. Or it was like, let me know when you stop hearing the beep. It was like a loud beep, like beep. And mm -hmm. then it will stop going. I guess that's like when the frequency is too loud. Right. But like, there's a whole thing going on TikTok saying like there, it was like a whole government program trying to like like find special kids mm -hmm. i don't know if it's like special kids like smart wise or like special kids that have like certain abilities Maybe, or something right. like that and i'll like but i just remember like doing that i don't know what grade i was in but i just remember they put me in a room with like a bunch of kids i remember they picked out because they picked out certain kids in the room like they'll go into the room and be like oh here's here's going today darius uh someone so and so so and so so and so come to the room mm -hmm. and we'll be in that room and they'll put us in the they'll put the headphones on, we'll listen, and then we'll switch. All right, now you go do puzzles. And it was like a thinking thing. But I don't think they were trying to say like it's a whole government experiment. I don't know about all that. But I was just remember like when I heard that, I'm like, nah, I do remember doing some weird I, shit like I that. I do remember doing <laughs> that, but I don't remember doing um like the, the puzzle puzzles. stuff. I do not remember. Because puzzles. there was a G and T program. Was you there? remember there was like that was the that was the program with all the smart kids they used to go on trips and stuff. Yeah, no, I do remember. That. You remember there was that, but I yeah. the gate like it, it, it rings a bell. Yeah, I but, don't remember the gate though program. Yeah, I, was, I do remember the the listening. The I was listening in the slow thing. classes, bro. I couldn't. My reading comprehension was down in the dirt, bro. I think I had like, I think I had like ADHD, bro. Not ADHD, ADD, because it was really bad. When I used to read, like I used to like wander off. Really? Like I mean, me too. <laughs> me, yeah, me and Prince are the same yeah, class. Yo, stop being weird, bro. <laughs> stop putting me into that situation. Bro. We were in the same class, bro. That, no, I wasn't. I don't know. Yes, you, you were. Yo, bro. They used do to your homework, bro. It's not, <laughs> okay, it wasn't really a slow class. Now let's not say it was a slow class. I was not in a slow class. I don't uh, I don't like that. I was in a It was extra help. It was a subject of, stop. <laughs> Let me speak, bro. It was a subject of improvement class. Now, I wasn't too good at reading comprehension. You feel me? Because I'm like, because no, no, come on, be for real though. Like, I, I would be 
like while I'm doing the thing. Was it was it NJS? It was the NJS. Yeah, bro. The NJS was asking for too much now, bro. Like, <laughs> like do your homework on. That was a week. It was a lot of passages, and nigga, I'm, I was getting bored, and to the point where I'm like, bro, who? <laughs> and, and it was not only that too. I didn't think the NJS was even important. It really wasn't. Like I didn't think it was the most important thing. So I wanted to get shit done. Yeah. Yeah, of course, uh, maybe I tried a little bit, but like, <laughs> maybe I deserve to be in a class. But, <laughs> but like, it was to the point where I'm like, I'm not finishing the passage, and I'm just, you know, doing any most because it was tournament. mad work. It was mad work. You would have thought it was the SATs, bro. We was in seventh. It was like sixth, seventh grade. We had it was it was a week. Like yes. the first two days was like English, the next two was math. Literally, and then I think when you hit like eighth grade, then you do the science one. Literally, bro. I'm like, what are we doing Mad this for? Work, and you would have thought like them niggas. You, they, they used to stress the Andrew ass, talk about some, talk about some. Yo, if you don't do this, like you're not gonna do good, and or you're not gonna. They they used to, in high school, you're not gonna do good, or they're not gonna look at you. I don't know, bro. It would like they would make it seem like the Andrew ass. Like if you not good at Andrew ass. You your your life is done. Like yeah. like they would have told you, yeah, you better give it up early when in the school <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not good with the NJS, if you don't do good. But like, you know what's crazy? It didn't even go towards our grade. It didn't at all. <laughs> like nobody even at got, all. It was so bad. And it was like, so the class me and Fritz was in, I don't know, we told about this before, but it was basically like helping us read comprehension more. So we would have to go. It was like what, every couple of weeks we wouldn't go to gym class and we'll go to the class and they'll make us read books. It was three people. That is bad. <laughs> it was me. It was bad. And this girl named Lauren. Now I knew it was bad when we would read and they'd be like, good job, Darius. You, and then they would give, give me some they'll give me some fruit snacks. They'll give me some candy. That's man. when I know it was bad. I'm like, oh shorty am I stupid? Had, shorty had candy candy piled up in the desk. Yeah, bro. Waiting for us to to to, to read to read we the passage finish, right. We didn't even read we didn't even finish reading the book. We didn't finish reading the book, like, bro. We it was alone. The 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 it was about like the, the plane crash thing. Yeah. And then there was like, you know, they stopped make they stopped letting us read and we just started watching that movie with um Andre yep. the Giant Andre, in it. Yep. I'm like, bro, what is this? Oh my god, that was such a waste of time, bro. It was a waste of time. Like nigga, yeah, I didn't I didn't benefit from that. That's what I'm saying. At all. But do you remember the freaking the, the test we took in um high school? What was that one that we took in high school? It was like some new one. It was like it was only for sophomores and juniors. Do you remember? No. Nah. It was like it was like that's when we like um if you were a freshman or a senior, you get to come into school late at like 10 p.m. Oh yeah. It was on the computer, right? Yeah, I forgot yeah, what it was I called. I don't remember. Though. I think it was in my junior year. I think it was the junior. Yeah, I forgot what it was called. Though. I forgot what it was it called. It was like called it was like it was start with a, I think it started with like an A or something. I can't remember. It was like some weird. Yeah, no, I, I I I remember which one you're talking about. And it was about. like a new state test. Yeah, yeah. And I remember, like, I think our first time taking it was like sophomore year, and we yeah. were looking at like, what the hell is this? Yeah, bro, they just like place shit in our lap, like like we're like we're supposed to learn this shit, like back, in, like it would it'd be it'd be so discouraging too because it'd be like there's students who are who who actually do good in this shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And it'd be like. How the fuck they doing good at this shit? Am I stupid? Like that's what I'm like, saying. It's just and it was like the test. Remember, we used to come in early in the morning, and like mm-hmm. they wouldn't put us in our home. They'll put they'd us in. Put in they'll yep. assign you to a room. Yeah, in a computer lab. In a computer lab. I'm like, bro, what is the point of this? Yeah. And it's like, oh my god, I will never forget that shit, bro. That shit used to piss me off. Yeah, bro. bro. I forgot. What well, damn? I was gonna say something. I forgot what else. I forgot what else I was gonna talk about. But it was like the freaking test that we used to take, and it was just. I don't know. It was just no point in none of that, it was bro. No point. But I remember, dang, that was something I was gonna say, but I literally just forgot. Damn, that's tough. This nigga got a brain for it. Nah, bro. it was bad. I had something to say, I forgot. But do your homework on a lot of the times, bro. When it comes to those tests, if it's not the SATs, bro, they don't mean nothing. A lot of the shits don't mean nothing, bro. Even if the it's SATs not the SATs or ACT, yo, yeah. In in my opinion, bro, the SAT don't 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 uh, tell you like how smart you are bro like obviously it's a good it's a good me- I, I feel good like measure? it's a good me- measurement it's yeah, a good it's measurement like and it does mean something when it comes to like going to college and certain colleges and shit. yeah but like bro it's not that bad it doesn't oh. make it seem like it doesn't mean you're stupid or smart like, I just remember what I was gonna say remember when they used to make us do the um the summer reading oh yeah you know they don't do that no more 
They don't do summer reading? I don't do no oh, summer yeah, reading. I know that because my, my sister don't. That's do crazy. It's insane. Ever since COVID came out, they just started babying these bro. kids. Bro. Bro. Yo, babying. What yo, the bro, heck? My, my sister, bro, there are days when she's at home and I'm like, wait, why aren't you in school? <laughs> we don't got school today. Wow. <laughs> why? Why don't niggas? We used to go in school in the in the in the, in the cold in the, in the, in, and just just winter, just snowing, just everything, bro. It could be a hurricane. Oh yeah, just just <laughs> it's it's insane, bro. They used to nigga has to had to like check the check the um news, be like if there's school if yeah. there's school today. Like I don't think they do that. They anymore. don't do that no more, bro. Yeah. They don't do that no more, bro. Yeah, bro. You know how excited niggas would would wake up in the morning and see some snow and see some snow <laughs> and check them and check the television yep and and see if your school Was is canceled? closed or not yeah bro you know how excited you would walk back upstairs <laughs> go back to your room because we used to wake to, up early wake up early like 7 a.m like six, six seven <laughs> like you had a shift <laughs> <laughs> like, like I used to wake up and yo, bro, and my sister, bro, she's in middle school right now, bro. I'm waking up and I'm like, yo, why aren't you not in school today? We don't got school. They just have random it's days. random days. Like, it's random days. Random days throughout the year, bro. Like, it's just they don't have no school. I don't understand. I remember when it was heat, but when it was a little bit of heat wave or whatever, it was like, it, it was hot. Yeah. She thought about, oh, there's no school because of the heat wave. What? <laughs> you don't take your ass to school, bro. We're really they, unks, bro. No, we're really, it's bad, bro. They really <laughs> baby. It's either like the school system don't feel like, don't feel like they, they getting tired or like, <laughs> or like they're, they're really getting babied, bro. Like it's insane. It's so bad. And it's like the, the, the whole thing with the summer reading Used to hate the summer. Oh, the summer reading. Too, that was, there bro. was no point in that. I there to, was no point in the summer reading, bro. And it used to be some boring ass books, bro. Bro, what the hell I'm reading bro, Shakespeare in the summertime imagine for? Imagine Shakespeare. Um, what a um, what a about that dystopia. Uh, oh, thing. oh, the the Giver. The Giver. <laughs> why am I reading about the Giver? What about what <laughs> Flowers of Algernon? Why am I playing? Why am I reading about a rat? Do your homework on why am I reading about a rat? But the best book we read in the summer, there was a book. It was about. It was, it was like a. It was a basketball book. It was about a boy in the hood. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. That was the best book we ever read. I do read. remember that. That was yeah. the only one I remember. Mm -hmm. Everything else, and I remember there would be. I remember me and Fritz used to go to the park and play basketball in the summertime. Yeah. And I remember I used to ask Fritz, I'm like, "Yo, you did your reading?" He's like, "Bro, I'm no. way to the end." Yeah, we like used to, we're doing, used to spam it two weeks before school yo, started. Literally two weeks before school started. Yo, and it was a whole packet. On, on it was a whole like so many notes and not only that you had to take the test you had to take a test <laughs> and that's what you should get critical because i didn't read none of that shit. <laughs> like you serious like yo, and it was bro, your first test it was like the first, first week yo if you fail that test you're cooked you're cooked <laughs> they really set niggas up for failure bro <laughs> yo summer's supposed to be for for not we vacation been school, we've been in school for that long. For 10 months. For 10 months. You can't give us two months and off? you can't give us two months off. With we nothing. We have to read. That's crazy well, I'm work. getting mad right now. Because, <laughs> yo, bro, because I remember, bro, in sophomore year, bro. Sophomore year, bro. <laughs> sophomore year. That's when Flowers of Algernon, we had to read Flowers of Algernon. Going into sophomore year or going yeah, into junior year? I think year? it was going into sophomore year. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah going yeah, into yeah. sophomore year. Yep, it was yep. going into sophomore year. Yep. Bro, <laughs> there was a quiz Oh, he would give us a quit, yo. Oh, I Mr. Kenny. No, not. Oh wait, that no, was our sophomore. Was sophomore year. Oh, so it was going to junior then year. Was, then it was probably nah. It was or probably freshman year. Freshman year. Okay, it was probably freshman year. Okay, I had I had another dude. Okay, um, I forgot what his name was. It wasn't Mr. Kenny. Okay, Mr. Kenny. Yeah, I fuck with Mr. Kenny. Mr. Kenny was cool. Yeah, crazy nigga, but he, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> he was crazy. Yeah, was crazy. yeah, it was definitely freshman year. <laughs> that was Flyers of Algernon. That nigga, instead of giving us a <laughs> test, one test, he would give us multiple, multiple <laughs> quizzes throughout throughout the week on 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 what the book is about. Like just just <laughs> get just spurts, just little, just little like quizzes. Here and there. Here and there, bro. Uh, <laughs> Why? About a book that I read a couple months ago. You serious? And I didn't read it. And and that shit really used to blow my shit, bro. That's when I used to have the spark notes, bro. I used to have to. Oh, I remember spark, spark notes. Spark notes, literally, bro. Yeah. Because I'm like, bro, I didn't read this book. Yeah. And he's giving us a test 
Or, and they used to be like, they used to scare you too. They used to be tricking you. Yo, they used to really scare you though, because they would be like, oh, if you didn't do the, if you didn't do the summer reading packet, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you That's, might as well give up the class. They, they said it was like, a, it's like 25% of your first like, marking period grade. Why? Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> like people, oh my God, it was so much harder in high school than college because in college you can get your grade up. No, Just beg. Co- college you can really get your grade up, bro. Yeah, like, it's not that. Like, college. Because you're, co- pay, you're paying for it. You're paying for it and you're you're going to work because you're, you're actually paying for that shit. Yeah, yeah. But like college, I feel like, I don't know. I, I feel like when it comes to college, bro, you really, you really got to do your shit, bro. Yeah. I feel like college, I wouldn't say it's easier, but it, but as long as, I feel like as long as you focus and, and you like really do what you got to do. You be cool. You'll be, you'll be cool. Like the homework, yeah. like really got to do that, that shit. Like, just do your homework and then just study. And then if you don't do well, you, if you don't do well, the first text test, you just, you can go, uh, do extra credit with the teacher or do, you gotta a, kiss ass. Too, yeah. Bro. Do kiss ass or just go to the teacher. And be like, Oh, can you help me study? Whatever. Bro, they'll help like, you with the fu- yeah. They'll, they'll help you, bro. And it's like, it's crazy yeah, work, bro. It, like college, bro. But like high school, high school was pretty spoon fed too. But like, they be on your ass. They though. be on your ass. They be on your ass with stuff. Yeah. Like it, it, it is crazy. Like it was to the point. Well, me, I used to do my homework like a lunch type shit. Yeah, first like, used to be coming in in the morning doing his homework, doing my homework <laughs> during breakfast type shit. But like they used to really scare you. Like be like, bro, if you don't like they, your grade would oh my drop God. down Plummet, to like the ground, to the ground, bro. It used to blow my shit. Bro. It's crazy. It's crazy how old we got, bro. Yeah. But I got something we could talk about, Fritz. Since we are in our grown adult stages, bro, I have a question. So what are you doing in these situations as a grown ass man? All right. Yeah. So it's 3 a.m. You're in your room. About to go to sleep, dark I, as hell. I know where this is going. And you hear a loud bang downstairs or outside your room door. What are you doing? 3 a.m. You hear a loud bang. Okay, but outside my room door? Like, like say that you're in my room, it's outside. Oh, damn, right there. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> What am I doing? I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? Go to sleep. <laughs> go. You're going to sleep. What am I? I ain't Scooby Doo. I ain't going to go investigate that. Yeah, but it's outside of your door. What that mean to me? I, I ain't hear shit. You gotta literally try to. But that's your that's your peoples out there. Oh, so I gotta go protect. You want me to go out there? <laughs> you want me to go out there? If they if they know what they do, they go and stay in their room also and let whoever out there do what they gotta do. <laughs> but whoever out there that's gonna do what they gotta do, they gonna try to survey or they gonna try to like check every room. Now if they come in my door, that's when I gotta attack. Yeah, I don't know bro. what I'm going for though. Man, you ain't going for shit. I gotta start throwing shit. You don't got shit, bro. I got. I got over there. I got mad soft. Is that a? Is that a? That's a lamp. Okay, you got a lamp. I got. A, I got. A, I got a lamp. Air dryer right there. Where? I don't know what that. That is. purple thing? Nah, that thing right there. Oh no, that's a that's a oh um, that's a massage gun. Oh, that, yeah, you're done. I'm good. <laughs> you, you're good. The thing is though, bro. Me, if it's if it's when you know, if it's like you. Okay, think about it. You and Jay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nah, I got to. exactly. You I, have to, bro. I gotta go. That's you're crazy. Literally, you're literally the protector. I know. I know. At that point, I do. But if it's just me, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, bro. This is how that, I protect myself. That's why, bro. I'm gonna get licensed to carry, bro. I was thinking about that too. That, bro, you have to. But you gotta go yo. practice. <laughs> Bro, who you do? Yo, practice, bro. If you get a gun and you don't practice, yeah, I'm your first time. Yo, bro, I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to Rangers. Oh, you gonna go to the Rangers? Literally, bro. Because you, I think you can get licensed in Jersey. Yeah, you can. I know my aunt did. I'm like, she had like three guns. I'm like, where the hell you get these guns yeah, from? You literally, I feel like nowadays you need it. Yeah. Because yeah, these 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 people out here they're they, being bugging. They're not, they not fighting. They're not. They're not fighting, bro. They got the. They and got. If they do fight, they lose. They you're done. Yeah, bro. They. I don't know if you seen that video. It was like a a kid. I think a cop pulled over a kid, and he had. He was like, "Yo, don't reach for it." 
and he pulled out. He had a switch on it. That yeah. just said, Burr. yeah. Lit the dude. I'm like, nah, that's crazy. They got switches, bro. And then I remember there was a guy. I think he lived in like he was like a rich dude. He pulled up to his crib and somebody was following him, and he peeped. So he 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 pulled into his driveway. He got out his driveway, ran into the garage, and the two guys got out the car and they ran back in the car because the guy came out with the RPG, bro. What? I swear to God, <laughs> there is a video of a guy pulling up with the RPG, like a RPG white dude. Is crazy, because why? Are you, he was like, yo, I don't even have that. I don't know. Yo, they they pulled up on the wrong dude, bro. He pulled up on a Navy SEAL. RPG, is RPG, ready to shoot their car up, bro. That is actually insane. Like, I, you're not even shooting. You're not even endangering <laughs> yeah. that person. You're literally endangering everybody, everybody around. Him. <laughs> <laughs> like he's ready to like decimate uh, and, everybody. <laughs> like. Off of that, off of that incident. <laughs> That's what I'm ready saying. To, like kill everybody. Like everybody's <laughs> gone. Like cause of you. Everybody is gone, like, bro. That is insane. Like even I, probably him. Yeah. He's ready to be done too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like he pulled up and he got on the knees. Like yo, you better leave. Like I'm about to shoot this thing. That is insane. Because if he would have shot that car, the whole thing would exploded. He might have been cooked too. Yeah, he would have been. He would have been cooked if you if you're that if you're close too. Like, yeah, like you, the um to the the blast get, zone, yeah, whatever. The blast zone. You're gonna get blast the debris. Yeah, zone. bro. Nah, bro. The reason why I'm I I stress that it's so important to be licensed to carry, bro. I seen your, I well not your. I seen a video, bro. Yeah. Even even road rages, bro. Yeah. I seen a video of a nigga. Um, the dude's chilling, right? The dude's chilling. I guess he got cut off, or he cut somebody off. The person literally, like, went to the other lane, right? Slowly crept up. He, the nigga had the thing on him too. He knew. He was looking back. He was like, "The nigga's just blasting his car, bro." And the nigga shooting back, like he was just shooting back like this. <laughs> Literally over <laughs> over niggas cutting you off. Yeah, like niggas nowadays, bro. Like That's they're ready. S- they're ready to like. Um they're ready to um, to shoot to shoot for no nowadays, reason. And that's what I'm saying. I'm like, bro. At the end of the day, why do we have to do? Why do we have to get result to that? Yeah. Like, why can't we talk about what happened to fighting, bro? We got too many crash outs now. I know it's so you, bad. You, you're not understanding, bro. Niggas don't got any. Emotional stability anymore. Bro. Oh yeah, no niggas no. are ready to crash out at any time, yeah. especially when they got that thing on them. Uh-huh. They ready to use it. Yeah, like them niggas is like they've been itching to use that thing. Itching to use it. Like they, I ain't just buy this for no reason. That's what they be thinking. That's really what they're literally thinking, bro. I ain't buy this for no reason. I'm ready. I'm and I ready. Mean, I remember. I don't know if I told you. Me and Jay was in, we was by Jay house, and she has a corner store by her crib. And it was like the corner store just opened up maybe like four months ago. It's mm-hmm. like an Indian people. They're nice people. Like mm-hmm. we go in there, we buy sandwiches, they know us. And we walked in there buying sandwiches. And there was kid these three kids walked in. Mm-hmm. They came in with like masks on. I'm looking, I'm like, nigga, like, why are you still wearing masks? It's not COVID. Mm-hmm. But Jay's like, they look a little sus. But me, I'm like, I'm not gonna racially profile these men. Of course. Maybe they just wanna be cool. Of course. That's just what they mean. I'm like, okay, let me not do that. Right. And then Jay's like, nah, they looking kind of weird. Cause Jay got like a that, sense. She has a sense. She, she has something I don't got. Like right. I, they would have cooked me. Right. <laughs> they would have got my ass. Like, oh, these, <laughs> these fine young gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I would not know. But so we're leaving, and then two more guys walk in, oh, yeah. and the, one of them is holding the door. Not for me and Jay. He's just holding it open. And Jay's like, nah, they about to rob the place. I'm like, nah, like you're just being racist. Yeah, like you just yeah, yeah. bro. I tell you, them kids just run out the store with mad Reese cups. Yeah. And I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking like, what if I trip one of these kids? Like, yeah. they would, they would probably beat my. Ass. Like, I feel like, like I, I, like there's, they're probably like freshmen in high school. Like I could probably fight them all, but I feel like one of them would have like a like a box cutter or some shit, yeah, and like yeah, stab yeah, the hell yeah, out of me. Yeah. That's you why I think know. in my mind, so I'm like, you know what? what? Let me not be the hero. Yeah. Even though in my mind, I want to be. You know, you never know what they got, and it's like, it's crazy, bad days, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah, Wyans is OD. I be, I be hesitant. No, not hesitant, bro. I be, I be on patrol all the time, bro. Yeah, like yeah. I gotta look at what's behind me. I gotta look at what's in front of me. I gotta look at everything. Like, yeah, literally, bro. Because you never know. You never know, bro. You never know what niggas got on them, bro. And it's like. I gotta, I gotta get licensed to carry immediately, bro. Because these niggas are nowadays, bro. That's what I'm tweaking. saying. That's what I'm saying. It's like you, you would never think that you would need it, especially when like like years ago. I'm like, bro, 
around, you know. Coming nowadays, bro, it's like these people just be doing some weird they stuff. Don't, they don't fight no more. They bro. don't fight no. Like it's, don't fight no more. it's crazy. Like, do kids ever go outside? Be like, yo, let's go fight. Like, remember that used to be a thing. Like, like when we was in middle really school, used to be dead a thing. Like, they literally go to the park. We we have a park right next to us. Yeah, so niggas would. You would know when there was a Yeah, was a I don't fight. even think they do that no more. Niggas probably don't fight no more. Niggas is ready to use a weapon. They definitely got lie. box cutters. What? But niggas probably go to school with knives, bro. Yeah, bro. It's crazy. But they probably go to school with knives. These niggas y'all y'all be safe out here. Bro. Yeah, man. I know all the young people that's watching our podcast be safe out there, man. But I got another one. So you take you're taking a big dookie, like a big like like you just had the runs. I, I understand. And there is no toilet paper. Oh, that's insane. And you're home alone. Oh, no. Nah, I don't know what I'm going to do. What are you doing? <laughs> that is actually a predicament. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going in the shower. Ah, Easily. smart man. Easily. Smart go, man. Just go in the shower. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, now I got a follow-up question. What was the craziest thing you used as toilet paper? <laughs> I don't even want to know your answer. Because the fact that you have that question... I don't want to know what <laughs> the crazy thing, the craziest thing I use that toilet paper. I've never used anything that's really like crazy. Like I've only used probably like like paper towels, tissues, like, <laughs> like multiple tissues. Oh, uh, and just yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's and like, it, yeah, it's real. It's real thin, but it's like <laughs> I used it. I remember one time, uh, like you ever tried cotton balls, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Get this thing out of here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, there's what? <laughs> there's, I know you got shit in your ass. <laughs> you <can't. laughs> look, look, look. People, I'm getting real vulnerable right now. This is what happened. My dad always has cotton balls in the bathroom, but there was a day where. There was no toilet paper. I had to use some toilet paper. Bro, what I do, I get a hit. Oh, my God. I couldn't breathe. Hold on. I couldn't breathe. Hold on, bro. Go ahead, bro. You got to get a handful. Oh, my God. You just you just, you just, just handful like this, and it's basically like you hand, you like like handful nah, like it's a toilet paper. Hands. No, I, you had to the No, I, did. I used up at least a lot. of. It was a lot of cotton balls. There's no way that the cotton balls didn't like. Did it, it? There's no way they didn't get stuck. Nah, it didn't. some of them got stuck. Nah, it was good, bro. Like it wasn't like I didn't have the crazy runs, but it's still. Okay, like, it was, it was like, like when I wiped, there was still like like shit on it, but it was like. <laughs> 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 but like, nah, that was that wasn't even the worst one, bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> there's no <laughs> way. What did you do? Uh, like, all right. So you know when the toilet paper is done, the cardboard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it, guys. I had—I had, don't know what predict. I don't know where I was. Oh <laughs> I, yo, I don't know where I was where I had to be this down bad. But I remember I just had there was no toilet paper. I'm like, yo, I'm cooked. And I was like, you know what? I gotta do what I gotta do. And I wipe my ass with the 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 the. the the cardboard of the toilet paper at the end of the toilet paper. It was crazy, bro. Every time I think about it, I'm like, would I ever do that? Because I'm like, but yeah, and I'm like, yeah, I, I'd have to if there's no toilet paper. But you've actually done it. <laughs> yes, it was okay. Okay, was it just one wipe? Nah, I had to. I had to like rip you the had hands. To, oh my! <laughs> yeah, shit, it just hands. You had to be in. Wait, you had to wait, 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 wait. <laughs> bro. I was in there like freaking bear grills, cause I had this to do some thing, survival tactics. I had to, cause was, you, it, was it horizontal or vertical? What? You you had to do it. No, no. So what I did was, so you know how it's like a, it's a, it's a, it's like a, it's a cylinder. Yeah. So I had to unravel it. <laughs> so it's like a long oh, piece of. <laughs> so it's so it like a piece of paper, like a piece Yo, of cardboard, bro, and then I ripped. Is- I, that didn't hurt your ass. Nah, it did. It was okay, crazy. Okay, cool. I was about to say it was but, weird as hell, but I, I was like, that. I had to do it, bro. I don't know where I was, but it was wild, bro. That is crazy work. <laughs> it was wild, bro. I had to get that done, bro. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> How old were you? 
clean. It was recent. <laughs> I don't know how. It, had to it was been, recent. For, I had to be like 18, 19. Ooh, like, that it, was, was recent. it was pretty recent. Yeah, pretty recent. <laughs> it was pretty recent, guys. <laughs> I couldn't do it, bro. I had to, bro. Wait, wait, hold on, bro. Like, I don't know where I you was. Didn't, you didn't, like, yeah, you didn't know where you were? You, you was in the crib? Now, I had to have been in like a public area, low key. It makes it worse. Oh, that is nasty. <laughs> oh, this thing. But what oh, am I gonna man. do? You're right. Like I gotta like You're right. It's either that or my hand. I gotta do it. Yeah, you're right. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a public area, I'll give you that. If you were at home, you're a nasty nigga. <laughs> Just like, this is like you just didn't want to even try to find somebody <laughs> to get anything for you. You just said, fuck it. You're a nasty uh, nigga if that's the case. But if it's a public area, I'll give you that. Like, wow. But the, but the cotton balls, though, that was like, I did that multiple times. Oh, wow. Because oh, you're had, an expert. Because I had to. Oh, you're an expert. I don't know why. I'm like, maybe I just ran out of toilet paper or like. Or do you did you even bother to ask? I think I was home alone. There was no toilet paper. I like I needed it. And I'm like, am I gonna hop in the shower? Because like, think about it, you hop in the shower, shitty, but you gonna, yeah, you're <laughs> gonna, gonna go on yeah, the it's toilet, been going to do, yeah, <laughs> on the on the bathtub, on the bathtub yeah. that'd be crazy. I'm like, nah, yeah, but you, I yeah. might as well just use these cotton balls, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, multiple was, times, like how, how many multiple times? Like? It was no more than five. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> no more than five. Okay. No more than five, bro. Shit. All right. All right, I got another. I got another scenario, bro. I got like I got three more. So your girlfriend says someone smacked her butt. Oh, I knew it. But you're 45 minutes away. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she might. I might just have to take it. Because <laughs> I ain't taking that draw. <laughs> what, 45 minutes away? That's what I'm saying. Cause now, it's a, now it's another thing. A <laughs> nigga did it in front of me, but like. 45 minutes away you want me to do what <laughs> That's what now imagine me getting my ass whooped <laughs> and i gotta drive 45 minutes away after getting my ass whooped now you just set me up <laughs> why are you that far anyway because <laughs> think about it you like damn you like yo you can somebody smack out my mouth, go be his ass yeah you mad you, as hell you hop in that car for 45 minutes you're you not gonna be mad you see the maps for, yeah you're not gonna be mad for 45 minutes that's a fact right <laughs> Yo, I, yo, especially in their traffic. <laughs> now you sitting there, you like you thinking about it, like yo, what like, if he is this worth out? it? Like, yeah, we're like, was this worth it? Like, what if he got people with him? What if he big as hell? Like, what's man? my plan? What's my like? What what am I to do? Yo, I'm going home. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take the L. Yeah, bro. I think I, I got you. Me. Gotta take the L, bro. I'm gonna hold you, bro. Oh like, my I'm god, I'm not gonna hold you. I'm taking it. <laughs> I don't get what any nigga says in this comment, bro. <laughs> you are not driving 45 minutes because a nigga <laughs> slapped your girl ass bro i don't care what you could be uh, you try oh i'm 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 a i'm a stay on business nah bro you gonna you, be thinking about that in that car ride in that car looking like an idiot five minutes bro the nigga gonna be gone <laughs> nigga gonna be gone by then <laughs> he's not gonna stay with me he's not gonna stay waiting for me he's not gonna, <laughs> he's gonna, be, gone. He's gonna be like come on but he's gonna on. be on his way out he's like bro you took my girl that's it get the bro, fuck bro, out yeah he, he just he just, he just took the. Yo. You just gotta take the L. Bro. Yo. You just Yo. Got, that's that's disrespectful. But you just gotta take the L for real. Yeah, that joke's crazy. All right, I got another one. Right, so say say you gonna have a have a kid. Right, you guys have a daughter, beautiful daughter, <coughs> and she you walk in her room and she's crying, like bawling, crying. You don't know, like oh maybe she got cheated on, maybe somebody broke her heart. All right, we're gonna give a talk, and she's not <coughs> telling you what happened. She's like, no, it's embarrassing. This that that. Like, all right, whatever. And then you go to your mom like, what happened to her? Like, yeah, she said her news got leaked in school. Um, <laughs> school? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> that might break down crying too, bro. <laughs> He said I'm break I might cry with my daughter too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something I don't want to hear, bro. I'm crying right now. Because what are you going to say? What are you going to do? What the fuck did I do? Why the fuck you should get me? Yo. 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 <laughs> yo, bro. <laughs> Yo, the amount of the the, the different emotions 
that's gonna <laughs> flow through my body, bro. I don't know what I do, bro. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be like anger. Yeah. It's it's gonna be like okay. First, it's gonna be like I feel like for me, it's gonna be like confusion. Then it's gonna be angry. I'm gonna be mad at her because why are why are you doing like, that? why are you doing that? <laughs> like, okay, a part of me as a as a nigga, bro. Yeah, uh, you're a man right now, bro. You understand? You've been through that phase. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know if niggas had news before, but but like, <clears throat> you're at that age. What? Well, well, how old was you? We'll say like High school, you say? 16. 16. You've been there, yeah. You, 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 you've experienced that. You know how niggas be the hormones be raging. The hormones be raging. Yeah. You send nude. You think it's a nigga that you trust or a female that you trust, and you guys have fallout and shit happens. Shit happens. So I'm gonna be mad at her because (coughs) I'm gonna be mad at her because it's gonna be. But to the point where I'm gonna be like, I understand. I, I, I like like damn because I've seen this happen before. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be sad because my daughter out here being my a, daughter <laughs> being a <laughs> no, Why are you sending nudes to a nigga? <laughs> Yo, honestly, is that gonna be a talk that you're gonna have with your daughter? That's crazy. I don't think. Or, or, or I think or, mom or gotta son. have. I think mom has to have that talk. Yes. Because because that is that is a big talk that niggas, niggas talk about straight to sex, right? Yeah. But I feel like there's buildups. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, obviously there's buildups. Like, niggas could go, you know, from kissing to that third. That's cool. Then it then it goes to nude. Yeah. Showing their body off. This yeah. and the third, you know, and that's what niggas want to see. Niggas want to see what... They working with you, yeah. know what I mean? What, <laughs> yeah. what, 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 what bitches working with? Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like that's going to be a talk that has to be talked about. Yeah, I know. Because there are niggas out there mm-hmm. and, and bitches out there that, w- that will leak that, that yeah. will show people. Yeah. Something that you think is so private mm-hmm. <clears throat> and so sacred to you. And maybe to that person at the time. And maybe thought, to that person at the time. Yeah. You guys have a falling out. Yeah, that's true. And, and, all hell breaks loose. Bro. I know. So, because we experienced the first time that happened, well, not like we got leaked, but like yeah, we, we know, didn't get leaked. we know, like we know, in like middle school, pages, <laughs> pages. I think the first time was like seventh grade, bro. We was like, what, bro, <laughs> bro, niggas followed the pages. I was niggas. I followed the pages, bro. I was. I wanted to see what the fuck was going on, gang. I ain't gonna lie, because yeah. me. In my at seventh grade, I was an innocent nigga. You feel me? I like I wasn't really thinking about shit like that. Yeah, but oh um, my gosh, bro! When I'm when you see it like that, it's crazy. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sad, bro. Yeah, Cause it's like what can I do? It's 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 some something like that that you like. Damn, I can't protect you from this. Exactly, because it's like Cause it's already done. It's already done. And there's no more I can and do. And it was because of your actions. Yeah. It was because of your decisions. Uh-huh. And it's like, ugh, bro, there's nothing I can do. So at that point, you just have to be like, damn. Like, you just got to console you her. You just got to console her. Yeah. Just, just be there for her. Yeah. And don't do that shit again. <laughs> like, like, don't do that. Like, I don't play. Like, bro, I don't. Bro. Yeah. Imagine, bro. That'd be so bad. Bro. Imagine, bro. Oh my god, bro. Cause like I don't even remember my dad having to talk with me. I don't remember. I've never had to talk. Like people been talking about. Like I feel like I learned just from like throughout like, experience. Like, with, like yeah, like just being like, with niggas, just like just knowing what like what it is. Exactly. But nobody like would you have the talk? Will you have to talk with your son, or do you, would you let him experience it himself? Mm, that's a good question. I I think I will. I think I will have to talk. With my son. I feel like I feel like a lot of parents strayed away from to having to talk because it's like a, I feel like they're so uncomfortable. I feel like they're uncomfortable. About yeah, it. that's what I'm like saying. They, like, but I feel like you should have to talk with your son, yeah. like or daughter. Like it don't gotta be no long talk. Just give them like a, the the ins and yeah, outs. Yeah, like like ins and outs and what to do, what not to do, what the consequences that comes with it because it's a huge consequence. It's not something small. You feel me? So yeah. like you, I think you should have to talk with your daughter. So would you have to talk with them? And like, son. I would, I would probably have to talk with them like when they start saying like, "Yeah, I have a girlfriend." 
Like say right. they say they like in like freshman year or six or like fifteen sixteen. Like yeah, dad, I have a girlfriend. This is my girlfriend. Okay, then fr- fifteen sixteen or it should be like fourteen. Yeah, it should be younger because well, fifteen sixteen niggas start. <laughs> they start tweaking. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. so maybe because like maybe if he if he whenever he tells me when his first girlfriend is, I feel like whenever you t- if it's a young age, he told he talks about a girlfriend, right? Yeah. Like if it's middle school, he has a girlfriend. Yeah. That's what I don't think you should go to sex. Yeah, I think, I think that's when you that's when the build up talk. Yeah, happens. like you started like you plant the seed. You plant the seed. Yeah. Like oh kissing this and there, like this and there. Yeah, yeah. That. Mm-hmm. Because you can't really uh, like prepare just just put put that image in his mind. Put that image in his mind that oh yeah, you yeah, oh you have a girlfriend. Oh, you fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't yeah, really yeah, do, you can't that. do you that. You know, yeah. it's probably some innocent shit. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So uh, kissing, probably if it's young, like kissing, gonna be the thing. Mm-hmm. I really hope because I know some niggas in middle school that, <laughs> that was tweaking, but I really hope it's just not my son, bro. But yeah, bro, you can't do nothing about nudes getting leaked. Oh, fuck, and the whole school, yeah, bro, you can't really do nothing about it, but. You just gotta be there for her, bro. Yeah, you just gotta be sitting there. Just act, just take her out to go get something to eat. Make right. her not think about it, bro. Yo, but it's like, it sucks because she has to go to school. Yeah, and I'm thinking now everybody look at her. She's, yeah. Sucks, yeah. bro. Yeah. That, that, that's just a different thing. And it, a disclaimer too, like, or niggas who do that, you're weird niggas, bro. Weird <laughs> up, like, who leak females pictures yeah. i feel like y'all weird as hell like cool like what if it's a dude I, like he leaked his girl picture because he his girl cheated on him it doesn't matter bro. Yeah, with a train. i feel like i feel train yeah oh, and there's a video <laughs> that, that is od but, <laughs> wow why do you have that but anyway but, but that is crazy but like um i feel like that's still you is you're still weird for that yeah. like a girl trusted you at the time with those pictures and you decided, oh, you guys had a falling out. Whether if it's a big falling out or whether it was a bad breakup or like a mutual breakup and you just decided, fuck it. Let me let me let me send it or let me let me like expose this girl. Yeah. Like y'all weird for that. Yeah. Y'all very, very weird for that. I feel like like I, I, like just delete them like you're weird like what is showing a girl's like nude photos gonna what do the, for you like yeah what the, what does that benefit i feel like that's so weird i've i've always thought that was weird of course i was in there oh drama like <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing these yep, Dra- yep. but like yep it's weird it, once you grow older you're like wait this is some weird shit like mm-hmm. so like it's, just, but, it's a crazy world, bro. It is a crazy world. And it's bro. like, you know, we are getting to that age when in a couple of years we're going to have kids, so we really got to have to talk, think about these talks, bro. Yeah, Freaking bro. one of my mans already got kids. Shout out, shout out Dr. Spoogey, bro. Yeah, shout, shout out Spoogey, bro. But uh, we'll be right back. We got commercial for y'all. Doo-doo. Prize Picks is probably one of the most fun and exciting sports fantasy apps on the market right now. I was able to win 10 times the amount of money that I put in. Prize Picks is very simple to use. All I got to do was find my players, make my picks, submit my entries, less than 60 seconds, and I'm good to go. Whether you're a tryhard or you're just a person that loves watching sports, you can turn $1,000 into $10,000 with a click of a button. And as of July 31st, Prize Picks is now offering a new promotion for new users on the app. If you use our code NOREGULARS at sign up and you place $5 in for any picks or entries that you want, you will get $50 deposited into your account immediately. Use code NOREGULARS, that's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S, at sign up and place $5 in for your first entry and you will get $50 back instantly, people. That's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S at sign up. Code no regulars. Shout out to Prize Picks. Let's get back to the podcast, baby. Gangsta. We're back. Yes, sir. All right, so we're back, people, and we're going to play a game, right? So, or do you want to save this for later? Uh, What you, what you, what you got? It's called the Berry Hot Challenge. Wait, what's the game? I don't know. I think we're just going to try this. It says red versus blue, so I guess, like, it says race to the finish. I guess you just. What do you mean save it for later? You got some. Yeah, I mean we could. I could talk about something. We could do this at the end. We could do this at the end. All right, we we'll do that at the end. 
All right, so Fritz, I I remember I was I I fell down a rabbit hole the other day, bro. What happened, bro? So I remember I I know we be talking about like the simulation and stuff like that, right? right. So I I was on I was scrolling on TikTok and I found this one guy who was like one of those little conspiracy theorists and like all his videos talk about simulation, and he talked about this one thing. There was an experiment experiment that was done in like the 1900s that kind of proved that we could be living in a simulation. Okay. So I'm going to try to explain it to you as best I possibly can. Okay. All right. So is that complicated? It's not that complicated, but it's pretty like, it's like, it's like, it's weird. Like it depends on how, how I word it. Right. Okay. So, all right, hold on. I need like a freaking damn. I wish I, Oh, let me get my uh, iPad real quick. <laughs> Man, right. Jerry McCain going crazy. How many points he has? Thirty four. Damn! Now nah, he was going stupid yesterday yeah, when I went to the when I went to the Knicks game he yesterday, a, bro. He dropped a double double. Really? Yeah. Od. When I went to the Knicks game yesterday, bro, he was going crazy. Oh, you went to the Knicks game? Yeah, I went to the Knicks game versus uh Sixers. It was oh, pretty. Right. Cu- oh, yeah, Yo, he dropped like twenty, huh? Yeah, it was like twenty seven, I think. Yeah. Or twenty five, but it was funny. There was like a lady in front of her. She was a Sixers fan, and me and Jay was going I crazy. Seen it. Yeah, I you seen, seen that? I definitely <laughs> seen it. He said, he said all these annoying six, uh, Knicks, Knicks fans. But, and there was a dude behind me. I think he worked there, but he was like watching the game. And I think he was like drunk or high. He was like, "Brian B, you ass," and I pulled my phone out. Because it was at the end of the quarter, I thought Jalen Brunson, I was like recording it, and Jalen Brunson turned the ball over, and he was like, yeah, put your dumb ass phones away. Oh, shit. And he's like, literally, he's like, like right, right here. Behind you. And I was like, and Jay's like, nah, he cooked you. I'm like, damn, he cooked me. <laughs> he's like, he like, ain't doing shit, bro. He put them dumb ass phones away. Because <laughs> yeah. it was well, me. Well, nigga, what, what? You should have said something. Nah, it was, we was just joking around, though, because I was oh. saying shit, too, like when the Sixers do something to ass. Right. So, but, all right, so I'm explaining to you what the whole thing is, right? So hold on, I need to draw a picture out for you. So it's basically called. Let me see, let me see what it's called. I forgot what it's called. So the experiment was called the double slit experiment, right? Mm-hmm. So right. So I'm gonna draw an image out for you real quick. So right. So you see this. You see this, right? No, really. A slit, right? You see the slit. So say this is a slit. Say that's a stencil, right? And I have a spray paint, and I spray paint like this onto the floor. The image is gonna come out like this, right? Okay. And then if I get another one. It's going to come out with two slits. Right? If I spray paint, like if I have spray paint and I spray that on like right. a surface, it's going to look like two, right? Okay. So basically, they did an experiment where they did that. Like they had a slit and they put like particles. They threw, they uh sprayed particles at it and it went on like a wall and it made like the slit. And then if you put two, it makes two slits. Mm-hmm. But then they did it with electrons. And what they saw was when they, when you do it with electrons, if you put it through one slit, it makes one slit. But if you put it to, through two, it will spread out like it would do something weird. Like if they, if they spray the electrons through the, through the um slits, it won't be two. It'll be like 10. And everybody's like, why is it doing that? It looks mad weird. So they decided to watch it. Right. So they was observing it. So they, they, they threw the electrons out and the electrons did what it was supposed to do when everybody was looking. Right. Mm-hmm. And you know, electron electrons is what makes up atoms and which makes up everything in our yeah. body. So when he threw when he sprayed the electrons out, it did what it was supposed to do. It did the two slits. And everybody's like, what the heck? That's weird. So then they was like, all right, you know what? Let's do this again. And they kept doing it. And it was like when they weren't looking, it do the mat, it'll be it'll put like the a bunch of slits. But if they were looking, it only did two. So what they did was they created like a camera. And whenever it went through the slit, it, the, the camera would turn on. So what happened was when it would go through, it would go through, but it would go like in a line. But when the camera was on, it would turn into a slit, like the two slits. So whenever they the electrons go through the slits, when something was looking at it, being when it's ever when it's being observed, it will stay as it's supposed to, as the two. But if it's not being observed, it would, it's it spreading would out. Like, yeah. But that's, that's equivalent to like you know when you play video games. Mm-hmm. Say we're playing like a video game, and there's something far away, and we can't see it, yeah. but we know it's there, mm-hmm. and it's because it's not rendering. Mm-hmm. So that's the same exact thing. Because since we're not looking at it over there, we're it's not like fully rendered in, so we can do whatever it wants over there, mm-hmm. but it's technically not there. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So they're trying to say like that's how it is in real life. Like say, like we're here, right? And like we're interacting with this right now, like we're interacting with my room. I'm interacting with you. We're interacting with this whole room. So we see it's all the electrons are doing what it's supposed to. But say we leave this room, it's not gonna do it's that. Not gonna do that. It's not gonna do that. You think so? I don't know, but that's what that. that, oh, that that's the that's the, that's what that's the think. whole theory is, and that's what the electrons do. And I remember somebody was saying like, they were saying like, yo, just imagine like you only see everything in front of you. Like imagine like 
everything behind me is not there until I turn around and interact with it. Now I see it, yeah. and it renders in. Like imagine, like me and you are real people, and this whole world around us is like a whole simulation to where like things that's too far away for us to like be, to interact with, it's not rendered in yet. But think about it though. Yeah. I'm looking at you. Yeah. I'm seeing what's behind you. Because it's in front of it's you. In front of me. But you don't think. I don't. Right, s- if, if. Okay. 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 Yeah. What yeah. About yeah. This right here. Mm-hmm. You looking at me right here. Yeah. And I see what's behind you. But you see what's right here too. Yeah. But because it's. it's whatever's in front of you what, is rendered in. in your vision. Is rendered in. Because you're looking at it. Just like with the electrons. If you're looking at it, it's going to do what it's supposed to do. But say you're not looking at it. Like, I can't see behind me right now. Right. Like, imagine, but you can see it because it's just your point of view. Right. But it's like, people think it's like, oh, there's, shit, there man. might not be nothing behind, like, it's not rendered in. That's fucking my head up. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was thinking about, like, wait, hold on. Because it's weird. Like, they literally looked at the electrons and, like, they were doing what it's supposed to if you look at it. But when you look away, it's not there. Like, it's just doing some other different type of pattern. Right. And that's just the same thing as rendering. Like, imagine, like, like your crib right now, because you're not there. It's not. It's not yeah, rendered, rendered yeah. and it's just like nothing until you get there. Now everything's starting to render in and it's starting to be all clearer. And that's, that's what it's like, like the that's whole a weird concept. It's that's a, such a weird concept. It's so weird. And like, I was watching, I watched that video like three times. I'm like, nah, there's no way because the whole thing with like the simulation, bro, it all just started when like with video games, bro, because people were like, yo, imagine this shit is like us. Yeah. Because I remember I remember, I think, I don't know if I told you, I told somebody, but there was like a, like a bunch of college students that created a game, like an open world game. And like, they put AI into it. So now all those people in there have like a mind of its own so they can do whatever they want. But it's like, they don't know that they have AI built into them. So that's like technically like us. Oh, so they don't know that they're not, that they're not real. Yeah. Because they can like, it's like they can do whatever they want, but it's like in their mind to us, it looked like a video game, but to them, it could be like their their life. life. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, just the thought of that though, and us not knowing, and then the when the Matrix came out, everybody was like, "What the fuck is going yeah, on?" That just scared yeah. everybody. That definitely did. So I'm like, I don't know. I like the whole simulation thing. Like in my mind, before I used to think right, like it was just, like the the I don't know if there's like the main character syndrome. I thought it was like it would just be just me in here, and everybody else is just like simulated around me. Yo, me too. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I thought about I thought about that too, bro. I I thought the same way too, bro. I'm like, what if like, like, I even, even you guys like my friends. I'm like, yeah, what if what if my friends aren't real? Like, that's what I'm saying. Because it's like you never know. Like it's like I only know my perspective of things. Exactly. And I only know what I think. So I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what exactly. you see. And it's like the things I see, like these colors, you might not see the same way. Right. And that just just the thought of that is kind of freaking Fucking weird. Up, yeah. And I'm like, nah, that's od. And like. I remember people always be talking about the simulation when they talk about because like things happen like re- like there's a lot of things that happen like a pattern mm-hmm. and stuff like things repeat itself like if you, I don't know if you ever realize like every it's like I think like a hundred years ago like in like the 1920s it was like similar to where we are now but like we just have more technology but it was like mm-hmm. we was in like a recession mm-hmm. we was about to go to war and stuff like that. And it was like, I think there was like a plague in like 1920 or something like that. Mm-hmm. That was like the Spanish flu that mm-hmm. came out that killed mad people when we had like COVID. Oh, it's like yeah. everything like repeats. It's just yeah. mad weird things and weird coincidences. Yeah, history. <sighs> I, I've, I've noticed that too. History does repeat itself a yeah. lot like mm-hmm. when it comes to like life in general, bro. I, I be seeing that. It's just now like we're just more technical. Techni- technically sound technically sound i cannot <laughs> say technological bro it's insane technological event event Ad- technical I'm <laughs> Technolo- technolo- oh you damn. see now exactly go ahead <laughs> Techno- technologically advanced yeah there we go bro it's just weird bro like it the whole weird. simulation thing whoever came up with that was either on drugs yeah i feel like that is a weird concept because you know why bro like it's like think about it Mm-hmm. God forbid, like, what if, like, you know it's there. Mm-hmm. Because what if, like, some something happened to your house? Yeah. Oh, your house, God forbid, your house burned down. Mm-hmm. You get a call that, your, like, your house is there. Oh, because even though you're not there. Even though you're not there. But isn't that technically, like, interacting with it? 
like like say you interact with like an AI like the AI will st- like say like you're playing like a game like uh like Fortnite or whatever you know they have NPCs walking around right. the NPCs go continue to do the same thing but until they interact with you then it's going to do something different damn you know what i mean that's, that's what true. that's what makes it so weird and it's like people i forgot there was like they were saying a lot of things like the simulation that's why there's like mandela effects and stuff right. like that and it's like things that we thought was real wasn't real at the same time yeah and it's like a lot of people what a lot of people think like with the simulation is like people think it's either like a future version like like i don't know if it's like future versions or past versions of us that's controlling it and just because the world around us is like a terrible place so they're trying to keep us in here mm-hmm. to like either solve something or to like keep us safe mm-hmm. or it could be aliens mm-hmm. or it could be or who knows like god may be the one that's creating the whole simulation mm-hmm. but it's just the fact that whoever put that thought in the world it's it's crazy it's work a weird concept. because you can go so many routes with that you definitely can like it's, it's so cr- it's, it's it's a weird concept I, I, that's a that's a weird way of like looking at shit it's just scary how the fact that uh, when you look at them electrons because electrons like i said it's all in your body right when you look at them they're gonna do what you expect them to do but right. once you're not looking and you it's, come back it's yeah, like what the fuck like what the hell is going on that is weird that's creepy bro but I got some, uh, oh, actually, before we play the games, bro, I got this subject that we can do that I wanted to start, I wanted to start off the podcast with, but we was talking about stuff. I have the villains of the week and we have the heroes of the week, right? So mm-hmm. I, so I'm going to start doing this with every pod. I'm going to start trying to, we're going to go, it's like a current event type of thing. So mm-hmm. do you want to hear who the hero of the week is or the villain of the week? Let's see. Hero uh, of the, the hero. So in my opinion, I have, there's a lot of heroes, bro. There's a lot of heroes that I thought. One person I thought in particular, I thought Young Thug's freaking lawyer. lawyer that, that man that is nigga, a hero. That, that nigga, that nigga deserves every everything, bro. <laughs> for that nigga, bro. that man like, was fighting for dear life. Yo, for that man, and there was all against him. He's a hero, bro. I ain't yo, gonna they lie. Would've, they thought Young Thug was gonna do like life, life, bro. But like I heard the whole time, like the case, like the judge wasn't on his side. Like they were just trying to find ways, but the prosecutors couldn't find nothing, bro. You know, <laughs> you know, like the judge was. They, the judge wasn't playing fairly. Neither. Yeah, he wasn't like, playing fairly. That, that's why there was different. Like, they had to switch him out. Yeah, switch. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's like it's insane how unfair they were. Unfair they were. That's what I'm they saying. They really wanted Thug to go to jail. Yeah, bro. bro. Like, and that that lawyer is insane, bro. That lawyer about to be set for like. Oh yeah, he's about to get so much bread. So much bread. So Yo, much. You know how much. You know how many people gonna be calling? Us oh like? yeah, that's crazy. It's you know, over, bro. This <laughs> thing about to be one of the richest things uh-huh. in, in like on richest uh, lawyers, bro. On like on some uh, what's his name, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian's father. father yep. is, yo, he might be the next one, bro. Because yep. this was a huge deal. This is the longest case in like Georgia history, bro. Was it? Yeah, it was. It was going on for like two, three years, bro. Oh no, not two, three. Probably Georgia, like two years. Georgia is. Yo, yeah. even. Even Melly's case is still going on. Exactly. They, they about to call him up yeah, to they, be on his case. Yo, that but no, I, think, about to, I think Melly cooked, though. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> eh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it might be. Because I don't think you can, they can use the songs against them because that's what they try to use for Young they, Thug. Yeah, they stopped, they stopped doing that. But who knows? Like, you never know. But I think the hero of the week. I, I, I was going to say Carl Anthony Towns, too. Because I ain't going to lie. Shout out to my Knicks, but we're doing pretty well, even though we 5-5. Five and five. But I'm going to say the hero of the week. I'm going to say Kai Sinat, bro. Oh, Kai. Because... I'm not gonna lie, he is really holding it down with the streaming, with the with streaming entertainment as a whole, bro. I'm not gonna lie, every day with that mafia thon is actually hilarious. Yo, oh, you watch it? I don't watch it, but I watch the clips I watch of the it. Clips, yeah, bro. He's actually he's bringing the nostalgia back. Like, I, I I like where his head is. Did at. you see the good luck Charlie? Just? Yeah, the good luck Charlie did thing. Say, did you see um what else they do? He did uh Franklin just recently. Franklin uh from what? GTA Five. Really? And he, yeah, he he had CJ from San Andreas say, "Oh shit, here we go again." Really? Real shit on the phone, bro. And say the the niggas tweaking. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like the the mind, the the creativity he got is on huge. another level. And it's like when I seen Coyote Peterson on this thing, you know who Coyote Peterson is? Oh, of course I know Coyote. I didn't know he knew who that was. Yeah. I'm like, I thought that was just, I thought I was just weird for knowing yeah, who no, he is. Coyote Peterson, bro, that nigga used to get bit by everything. Everything. That nigga's the goat. Literally. <laughs> like, I, I don't know how he's still alive. He's his pain <laughs> tolerance is insane. Coyote Literally, Peterson. bro. Yo, Coyote Peterson is insane. Yeah, every time I see a new sting thing that he was doing i'm watching that oh shit. god bro oh, that's god. crazy yeah coyote peterson is it's tough um he also had carly yo he had miranda coswell yeah, in yeah. there he um bro i seen some like he did um 
Mario Kart. Like yes, he did the Mario like, Kart around, around the his, crib. Like his creativity is is in off the roof. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Like especially when it comes to streaming. Yep. Like you gotta. It's one thing where YouTubers. Yeah. Because you could plan that out. Because you could plan it out. Yeah. He's he's planning it out, but he's he's his mafia thon is literally on the fly. Tw- on the fly, like it's Live. like twenty four hours. Right? Yeah, it is twenty four hours. So it's like, bro, you gotta constantly be entertaining. Be entertaining, like constantly look for new ideas. It's either he has different, like like he has a group and and you know, he, you know he has a, a group, good team a, with a good him. team yeah. with him and and he helps him real well, like. If he does have a team, like shout out to the team. If yeah. it's him by himself, that is insane. No, I think he has a team. Like I think that's what he does. I think he has a team. He definitely has a team. He has to not because he's too like he's too big to not have a team. Yeah. And I think like he plans it out, but like each day he don't know who's gonna be there. Yeah. So it's like when Good Luck Charlie and them pulled up, he didn't know like he knew they was gonna come eventually, but he didn't know what day. Wait, what day? Yeah. I'm like, yo, that's what I'm saying. Like his creativity helps like niggas out to. Push to be more creative. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, yeah. like I, like I believe in like, like once you at like a certain level or like once you're doing certain things, it pushes other people to like innovate and do different things. Definitely. Because like, say you everybody's doing the same thing, like, and it's blowing up. Mm-hmm. Niggas is not gonna. Niggas there's no not, diversity. Yeah, yeah, you, if, but if you're doing more shit than everybody else, and it's like now niggas gotta catch up. Now you got niggas thinking like niggas like us thinking like what to do to like not get up to that level, but at least. Like stand out, right? You know what I mean. Right. Like I be, th- yo, I be thinking of so many ways of how to like change like a podcast scene mm. because, of course, it's the the main thing with podcasting is it's like you either gotta bring guests or you gotta be very entertaining when you do it, like right. especially with the same people you're doing. Right. So I'm trying to think of ways of like either implementing both or just doing something that's entertaining that hasn't been on a podcast. Right. I got ideas, but we got we gotta figure out those how down to the line. How to execute. Yeah. yeah it, um, shout out Kai. Shout like, out to Kai, he's, bro. He's, doing numbers crazy things right he's now. making bread he's yeah. doing a great thing that, for the for the great. east coast kids bro yeah shout out, shout out new york and all that but now we got the villain of the week we have a very crazy man crazy man this man is de- does devious conniving work Con- uh, conniving. conniving work <laughs> i didn't know what the word was the man's name is Ballastar Ebay. Oh, shit. Fritz knows who that is. Fritz knows. This is the villain of the week, people. If y'all Bro, don't know. Ballastar is OD. Bro, I'm going to read to you what he did. So, people, if y'all don't know, Ballastar Ebay is a, I think he's like, he's a financial crime chief. Of like New Gu- yeah, of Guinea up, of Guyana or something yeah, like that. he was up there, bro. And like Africa. Like he's like a crime chief. And this man was part of like some fraud scheme. So like the cops had to go through his computer and they found 400 videos of sex tapes of him having sex with all of his friends' wives, bro. Yeah. Bro, let me he tell you. Like, family members, bro. Bro, family members, friends, freaking cousins. Yo, they, he was having sex with their wives. Everybody. They sisters. Nobody. They was daughters. Him. Nobody, bro. Nobody 400. And they were all consensual. Nobody. Bro. Yeah, it was literally... The women knew that they were being recorded. It wasn't like one of the y'all niggas who just be... Uh, they hiding know, it in hiding the cut? And, and, you know, doing... Nah. He was setting it up. Bro. It was insane, bro. That made me feel, look at... Women? I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> what is your... Like, what... <laughs> Yo. I, I just don't know what to say, but you know what's crazy? What? It's 400. 400 <clears throat> sex tapes, but there's probably more. Yeah, there's way more. That he didn't even upload yet. Upload. That's or probably on his phone. Or he, that's probably on his phone, or he probably didn't record at all. Bro. It's insane. Do you want me to read you what it is? Go ahead. Bro. It's the wife of the director of presidential security. Oh, wow. The wife of the president of the security. Oh, wow. The attorney general's wife. Oh, wow. The man in charge of the guns. Oh, wow. The daughter of the director of general of the police. Oh, wow. (laughs) Yo, the wife of his pastor's little brother. The pastor? Why? (laughs) Why? The little brother, like the younger sibling of the pastor's wife. That's crazy work. Cool. Like, how do you even get there? Like, like that's what I'm saying. Like, how like, do you like, w- like, why? Like, how do you even? How, how's he not getting shot down? That's insane. Like, how? Like, why is he so consistent? I I don't get it. Like, he, like, like the nigga. I don't know if the nigga got got like smooth game, bro. I don't know what it is. Like, he got money, but 
the niggas that talk about like they, they got, got money, money too. too. That's so what I'm saying. I'm like, yo, how are they? How he let like he his his percentage is crazy right yeah, now. No, the niggas the nigga. It sounds like a ninety percent. Yeah, it's looking like bro from, from the field, bro. <laughs> from, the, <laughs> from the field, bro. He's not he's missing. Like, he's not missing, bro. Bro, it he's says missing. his godfather's wife. Like why? Come on, bro. Like why? Why? How do you get there, bro? A bodyguard's wife. Fifteen friends of his youngest. Oh wait. Oh, so fifteen friends of his younger sister. What? So fifteen girls that his younger Yo, sister knows. Bro, how do you? First of all, that. Uh, like Conniving. the bodyguard like why why did you like introduce your wife to like anyways i just don't know <laughs> i just don't know like i don't know bro i don't understand how do you find these like how do you be in a situation with these women bro like as a bodyguard like if i'm a bodyguard to somebody like I, i'm just working you feel me like so like where where's the time and place where you y- your wife is seen by that's what I'm saying. That dude. I just don't know. I don't understand. Bro, it gets worse, bro. I don't get it. It's the wives of many ministers, including Minister Oburu. So he's 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 having sex with everybody's wife in church, bro. Everybody. Oh my god. His little brother's wife. Oh, you see? That's, that's crazy. That's insane. That's like, crazy. That's where you kind of you need to draw the line. Like there has to be a line drawn. Bro, his uncle's pregnant wife. Yeah, I seen. She was pregnant? Yeah. Nah, that's crazy work. I, what yeah, he got, bro? What know. he got on them, bro? I don't know, bro. Like, I what is know. going on? Like, you know how many divorces he, he caused, bro? A lot. It's it, yo. I heard. I heard one one guy threatened to kill his wife, bro. Like, it's insane. But I mean, yeah, in Africa they be doing that crazy. Like, they don't be messing with that stuff, bro. No, they don't play. They really will kill y'all, bro. I think. I don't know what what's gonna happen to this nigga, bro. He I, he need. He's like, having sex with the 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 police chief's wives, bro. And the kids, the kids' friends, bro. Oh my gosh, this is, you are you are the villain of the week, bro. Like that nigga, e bang, bro. They said he, he and he has a wife yeah. and five kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said his wife collapsed after hearing all that. She in the hospital. I mean, I I, I wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, like that is insane. Four hundred is insane, bro. And he's at. I think he's doing it just during work. Too, yeah, yeah. Like, I think he was at work. He was like in literally just at work. I mean, some of this should probably happen in his office. Yeah, like, like it's insane how you even have the time to do all that. To bro. do all that sick. World. There's no. There's probably days where he's just fucking with three four women in a day. I know, and that's all consent. They all knew all about knew it. it. All videotape. Y'all women. I don't trust none of y'all. That's the issue, bro. I don't. What is wrong with y'all? What is wrong <laughs> with y'all? Like, be honest. Like, what, yeah, we get. Nah, serious question. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Crazy work. Like, bro. what's wrong with y'all? Like, it's the daughter, the 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 the, the little brother's friend. wife. The little brother's wife's crazy. Like, you knew that was your older brother's. That was your older brother, bro. Yeah, your, 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 your husband's older brother. Husband's older brother. Yeah, yeah. Why are you doing that? Why? For what? For what? Why? Seriously, like, like, do niggas got no respect, bro? That's crazy. No respect at no all, respect. bro. No respect. You knew that. No was shame. A, you knew that was a coworker. Like, do niggas got no respect? And you're getting video, bitches is getting videotape watching the video. Like, yes. like they're literally watching themselves getting cracked <laughs> happily. Literally, bro. Crazy. And not way. expecting nothing. Like, no repercussions. No repercussions, bro. Crazy, bro. It like if he didn't get. They probably would have never got caught, and they going home to their husbands. Act like nothing act happened. Act like nothing happened. And like nothing happened, bro. Sick you world, are bro. pregnant with a <laughs> man's child, and you're. That's crazy work, bro. That little kid. That little kid been soiled, bro. Like, like think about it too, bro. Like it's like, do these women, do do, do did those women like? Have a group meeting like who's gonna saying. fuck the nigga next? That's what, that's what I'm thinking because it's not like they all they all knew like the ministers. They're close, like they're close to each other. He like, was having sex with all the people in church, like literally. So I'm they probably they went to they went to church. To they all other. knew each other. They knew each other. Yeah, crazy. It is insane. It's crazy. So these niggas, the, these women probably had the whole group chat was like, yeah, I fucked the nigga. You wait, you who next? Up next? Who next? 
Oh, you next? Oh, all right, cool. He videotaping, you know. You, you he got it all set up. <laughs> like, got a whole set up. Like, it's insane, bro. Nah, it's a, it's a scary world we live in, bro. It is a scary world we live in, bro. Like, the way that these women are getting, are, like, that is so insane. And wh- just one nigga, bro. Yeah. One nigga? What does the nigga got? <laughs> one nigga, bro? It's fucking 400 women like that. It's Has crazy. a video thing before. A close, a close relationship women like girl, females in close relationships. Like I don't think he had nigga, six bro? with 400 people. It might have been like 100 though. If it, yeah, it's just videos. If he would have said 100, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, he probably has different videos of the same Yeah, one. yeah. But, but that's still, still bad. It's still, it's he still He said crazy. coming back is crazy. It's, uh, you are, you are the villain of the week. Congratulations. <laughs> but. That nigga's crazy, bro. You ready? Like, for, I'd be, like, okay, like, I'd be like, I'd give you applaud if it was like people you didn't know. People you didn't know, my yeah. nigga. Like sick world. But like your little brother's, come on, bro. Your little brother's girl is crazy, bro. Your sister's friends. Your sister's friend. Fifteen. Fifteen. And them. That's od. Like, why did you introduce fifteen of your friends to, your, to that nigga, bro? I know that's a lot. Like, like come God on, damn, bro. Like there, there are some. People that come on, like, like you not really on. fuck with like that. Like, like, come on, like fifty, come on. I mean, you didn't expect that to happen, but damn, really, come on, bro. Really? Fifteen, <laughs> really? <laughs> they probably, I guess they probably all went to church with fifteen. Yeah, on. bro. Jeez. It's so bad, bro. But are you ready for the questions, Fritz? Yeah, bro. So, I have a would you rather question, right? So, would you take a million dollars right now, or the accumulated price of everything in a Walmart? So say like everything in a Walmart, whatever all that stuff costs in a Walmart, you take home or a million dollars. I'm probably taking everything in a Walmart. You think so? Because you got to think. Hella technology. In a what's Walmart. the most like what's the most expensive thing in that Walmart? Because, you know, some Walmarts don't got everything. See, you didn't take none of that. I mean, like whatever, like say you go to Walmart and be like, yeah, you can have all of this. If it's a super Walmart in Linden, there's a super Walmart. I'm taking that shit, bro. How much you think is how much you think all that junk worth? More than a mil. You think probably, so? Probably like Ooh, low key because Because it and, and not only that too, it's multiple of that one thing. Yeah. And there's low key, like there, there's some Walmart, like the one on twenty two, like there's some Walmarts that have like stores like Dunkin' Donuts and you got right. like the, the glasses store. Right. And glasses be expensive. Right. Ooh. And think about it, Walmart has what? Like don't they have like a little like Nah, what they got? They got like washers. Don't they got like dryers, washers, air conditioning? I think that's they, got, they don't got utilities like that. I don't think they got big stuff. I think you can order that online. I don't know if they have that in the store. They might have some stuff. Like I think that's more like Lowe's and like Home Depot. Yeah, that is more like. But Lowe's. like they still got like them clothes, like some clothes. Like I think the like what's the most expensive clothes in Walmart? Maybe like twenty bucks, thirty bucks. Yeah, nah, the clothes aren't gonna be like those. It's the, just the electronics. It's, it's the electronics that's gonna be the main. The thing, Mon- the money maker for real. Like, I think I don't know if that's gonna be a million though. Yeah. I think max maybe like say five hundred. Seventy five. No, no, seventy five, seven hundred fifty k. Oh, I'm like, yeah, what? Nah. Seventy five hundred is crazy. Seven hundred fifty k, least like two fifty k. Because you gotta think about it, Walmart, pretty cheap. It is, but everything's going up now. You think? Oh. I don't know, bro. I'm a, I might take the risk with the Walmart, though. I'm going to take the I, I risk. I really might. I think I might take the risk with the Walmart. It's just like, yeah, I might take the risk with the Walmart. Okay, okay. Because it's just multiple of the same shit. Yeah. And there's, I think, like, the TVs are going to be the money maker too. Yeah, like, there's, like, them TVs be, like, thousands of dollars. Yeah, like, they be, like, especially, you know, with bigger. The bigger TVs, the bigger though? The bigger size. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think I'm going to take the risk. All right. So. I got another question, right? So I'm giving you $10 million. Before you get the money, you must survive one year being jumped by the Power Rangers every single day for five minutes. Hmm. Would you do it? Hmm. Would you take the $10 million? And it's not like... Wait, for one day for what? Every day for one year, for five minutes, you're going to get jumped by the Power Rangers randomly. Them niggas don't play. They don't play. But I'm... As long as I can withstand them kicks and flurries. I don't think that they, they're they going to kill you for real, bro. I don't think so, but they might put you in the hospital. Yeah. And if they continually put you in the hospital, they might catch you. They might they might kill you by accident. 
But they were kids, though. They were kids. They were no. Nah, some of them were like. Teenagers. Oh yeah, like the Mar- Mighty Morphin, like that old dude. Yeah, they could. They 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 was getting. They was getting older. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, each, each, each time, bro, they start from teens, and then you see. There's a lot of times when you've seen their age. Bro. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, they, yeah. These are grown ass men. <laughs> yeah. They're so, like in college. And yeah, stuff. like they're old. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but for ten mil, I'm though, doing it, bro. I'm still doing it too. I'm doing At it. least, would you fight back? Oh yeah, you gonna try to fight back? Oh yeah, but I'm going for the women first. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm going for the pink, pink and yellow and yeah. Rangers. You're I'm, done. I'm, I'm, I'm you, you get. I feel like, yeah, y'all gonna get whooped first. I feel like I could take y'all. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. Y'all, it's like, <laughs> let me die. Yeah. But as soon as, as soon as the red ranger, blue red and ranger, blue ranger oh, coming, oh, I'm cooked. Now if the black ranger come, oh, oh so yeah, I'm done. Green rangers over. Oh. Like what if like like every day it's a different set of Power Rangers? Like oh, one day man, it might like be Mighty Morphin, 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 the next day it might be Dino Ninja Thunder. Storm. Oh shit! Yeah, like Dino Thunder. Now Dino oh. Thunder might be cool because there's only like three or four of them, yeah. but you gotta worry about like Mighty Morphin. There was like like seven. Yeah, like there might be a day where you gonna get jumped yeah. by a lot of people. Yeah, like Ninja Storm. There was like what four? Mm-hmm. It was only like red. It was like red, red, blue. And yellow and green. Mm. What was the one that, that had the White Ranger? No, the White Ranger was Donald uh, Thunder. Yeah, White Ranger's done. Oh yeah, I forgot there was a White Ranger. Yeah, so that's I think, five. I think, I think Donald Thunder had a White Ranger and a Black Ranger. He did have the Black Ranger. Yeah, that was Tommy. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. RP Tommy. I yeah, like, RP Tommy. Yeah. Damn. That the, the goat for real. Damn, that was a good. Damn. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna beat our ass. Yeah. Oh, and Black and White Ranger come in. They gonna cut. They, they might kill me. They don't play. They gonna. They might. They don't play. Yeah, they might actually kill me. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But I'm still gonna do it for ten mil. I gotta try, I'm bro. Gonna do it. I gotta try, bro. I'm gonna do it. I gotta try. I miss Power Rangers, bro. I was I'm, thinking about that today, too. bro. Yeah, bro. Honestly, bro. You I know, what's crazy. Too. I wait. Well, I I started watching like rewatching Power Rangers and shit like that. Yeah. Well, a couple weeks ago, and I stopped. Really? I, I think I might have to start back because that shit fire, bro. It's really good, bro. Yeah. What are you and, watching and on? You know what's crazy? Uh, I have this regular like, uh, what you want calls it. You know, like, HD today. Oh, I don't oh know yeah, if you yeah. know what that is. Is it like the like the Fire Stick stuff? Nah, H, nah, it's I airplay it. Oh, on my on my TV, on my Roku TV. So it's like it's a one of the, you know how Put Locker. Yeah. Oh, 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 those, yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of those. I know what you it's mean. It's called HD Today's. Did you watch the Penguin? Yeah. Fire. It's really good. Fire. It's I'm really on episode good. like three or four. Three or four. Yeah. Oh, you're on the good part. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. There, it's but. really good. I ain't gonna lie. It's it's better than what I thought it would be. Yeah. No, it might. be. It, because when I heard when I heard about I don't want to watch like the penguin. penguin. Yeah, like, but now I'm like, oh, it's great. It's yeah, great. And I'm like, is this good for when that Batman movie? Yeah, the, the like, it's a good if, like. Uh, what's that? What's that word I'm looking for? What's a good like continuation? Continuation of the right? Batman. I think um they're gonna be a Joker too. Oh, a Joker show? Y- yeah. Oh, uh, that'd I be fire. So. Yeah, the same Joker, you know. Oh, like in that movie yeah. when he was going stupid, he was going crazy in the jail cell at the end of the Batman yeah, movie. Oh, yeah. yeah, there there might be a. a in, I think that's in the works. That's uh, fire. So uh, that's you gonna know, be a good continuation. You know, I heard they're doing also. You know how they made the X Men ninety seven, the the TV show. Yeah, the, the cartoon. The cartoon. Yeah, yeah. they're making a Spider Man ninety eight for really? Disney. Yeah, so they're making like a Spider Man one of that of like a like the ninety eight uh, series. That's fire. So that's, yo. X Men ninety seven like remastered, yeah, something like, like that, like, like better, better graphics, but it's still gonna look like it's similar. Oh, all right. but nah, that the because X Men ninety seven that junk was fire. Oh my god, I didn't watch it. I, I, nah, you sh- I think you'll I, like. I it. should definitely like. Where do you watch it? Like Disney, Disney, Disney Plus, yeah, Disney Plus. I, I should watch like. You like it, bro? Like X Men. You like it, bro? I should watch it. Uh, that's fire, bro. I would like when I be doing like I be doing Uber Eats and stuff like mm-hmm. to until I find a job. So like I be. So instead of listening to music, I'll put my phone down like with the GPS or whatever mm-hmm. and I'll watch like TV shows. Like I'm not watching it, but I'm still hearing it. And like if I'm looking at the direction, I can still watch it. Mm-hmm. So this is what I did. I, I watched all of Invincible. I watched all Invincible over again. And I watched, I remember I said Vox Machina, bro. This nigga spamming that shit. Bro, I'm telling you right now, Vox Machina. I'm going to watch it. It's, it's, re- on, it's on Amazon you say? Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. I promise you, it is really really good now compared to invincible i need right now i think it's better because invincible only has two seasons vox machina has three mm. and that third season oh my it's od 
So do you. But the, I feel like I have to, I can only judge it when the next season of Invincible comes out. That comes out in February. Bro, so once Invincible that comes. Invincible insane. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. The but fact, like. The fact that you put that over in I, Yo, I'm so, I'm I, so I, serious, I, I, friends. The thing is, though, did you read Invincible? Invincible? I did. I didn't want to. I didn't want to read it yeah, to, and spoil it because yeah. I, I like watching. But I told you, I suck at reading. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the invisible stories. Is I know the invisible story is crazy, mm. but like I, I, like I, like I be telling myself, like especially after I watch, I'm like, damn, am I gonna, am I gonna read the comic? Like, I, I look at it. Like sometimes I, like if I go to Barnes and Noble, sometimes or like if I see it online, I'm like, damn, am I gonna buy it or like read it online? I be thinking about it. I'm like, nah, let me wait. Yeah. Cause I know there's some crazy stuff that happens, yeah. but I'm telling you, bro, this Vox Machina stuff, it is like, I might, have to, I might have to get into it. It's just the way it's because like, cause you know how Invincible, it had like Invincible is like, at least the TV show wise, it has a lot of stories, but the stories are like not in like an order. It's like, like you watch one episode and it'll be like a story about like, uh, what's the one I do name? Uh, Alan. Like Alan. It'll be like about uh, Alan or whatever, yeah, and then it will go. That's like a, it's like a B roll type of thing, and then it'll go on to like the real story of like him trying to like find his dad, or whatever. But in like Vox Machina, it's like each one of them have a has a crazy ass backstory, mm-hmm. and I'm like, bro, I'm not, I don't. I I hope you watch it. I might get into it. I be tell you, I told like four niggas to watch. It. I know niggas yeah, not watching it. Yeah, I I I, I, might, I might get into it. I watched that and I, I finished um the boys. I need I need to finish the boys. Did you wait? What season are you on? Are you on the uh, new season? Probably, isn't there four seasons? Yeah, four. Uh, I think I'm on season four. Four? Okay. Maybe maybe, maybe four or three. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I need to check. It it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Wait, I fi- is, it, is it is it like the end? Nah, it's still it's okay. like the end of the I season. Know the boys' story, and I don't know if it's like. Nah, it's not ending. Okay. It's not ending. Yeah, you got time. But I'm watching now. I'm so now what I'm doing. I'm rewatching a uh, Young Justice over again. You know what? That's a good one. I, bro, my brother told me to watch that so many times. Bro, if Young Justice was made like how the DC animated movies was made, like a little bit more like 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 a adult, like adult swim type of right. cartoon, oh my God. That would be so good, bro. That would be so fire. Yeah, yeah, I know Young Justice is great. Mm-hmm. I never really... I was sleeping on Young Justice, bro. Like, that junk is OD, bro. Because they, they actually... Because, you know, like, kids shows like that, they don't really got, like, storylines. Mm. That junk has a storyline, for yeah. real. Like, it gets crazy. But, yeah, that's what I'm on that right now, bro. But I got one last question. Did you rewatch that show, like, three times? I think I watched it twice. But, like, I didn't... But, the, bro, there was, like, a season where they freaking... Aqualad turned, like, Mookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wasn't, like... After that, I wasn't really, like, paying attention to it, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, that shit pissed me off. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's it, got to do it, y'all do I'm like, what the... I'm like, I'm like, bye. Like, why? Like, why? I don't know if he's... Actually, I don't he's, know like, bisexual he's, or something. I, I don't know if he's... um. Like in the story, if he's actually like that, but I'm like, or did they make him like that? But I'm like, well, what's going like, on? what is this? Like, what is the point of this? Yeah, I was like, you know what? Okay, whatever. I guess, yeah, yeah, but I, it threw me off crazy. I like that. I go like, That's I, what I'm saying. It was tough. It was tough. I'm like, come on, bro. But yeah, people. And black too. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. They, get, they made the black like, come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> like, but I mean, like, what? Who else would have been? Right. Like, it couldn't have been nobody. I can't even think of who it could have been. Yeah. Unless freaking Blue Beetle, but like, nah. He like he don't even know. That's what yeah. I'm saying. It just Blue Beetle. Nah. But Blue. It, it didn't have to be like that. Yeah. I knew. He, like, he come on, bro. Made anybody just... Come on. Like when I when I seen, it, I'm like, I know this was made like two years ago, mm. and it was. It was made in like 2000, like 21 or 19 or something like that. Wow. Come on, bro. Yeah. I, I see what y'all people doing in Hollywood. Ain't a problem with it, but it's just like, dang, bro. Like they're not real people. Right. Like, come on, bro. Give him a chance. <laughs> but I got one last question and we got I got a couple games me and Fritz gonna play. So someone is give someone is now offering you a hundred million dollars. But in order to get that hundred million dollars, you must suffer for one year. By suffer, I mean every time you take a poop, it will feel equivalent to you giving birth. Ooh. So every time you take a shit, it will feel like like equivalent to giving birth. No matter how, if it's a big shit, if it's a little shit, it's gonna you're gonna feel like contractions. It's gonna hurt. That is crazy. I'm taking it. You're taking it. <laughs> I'm taking it, bro. Because oh, fuck, that's what, and take twice a day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I use the bathroom a lot, bro. You do two a days, bro. Yeah, bro. That sucks, bro. That just hurt. Oh, that just made me cringe. Like you ever been on the toilet and like you like constipated? You just like hurting. Yo, and you just like, <laughs> just dying, bro. like just Yo, dying. Like, you 
put the phone down. Yeah, you gotta yo, lock it. You know how many times I put the phone. Yo, the, <laughs> once you gotta once you put the phone down, you know you you, you locked you, in. You locked in. Like, you got, like this one's a this one's this one. It this gotta one, go. This one fighting back. Like real <laughs> shit. Like this one. This one's OD. Yo, like, real shit, bro. Nah, equivalent to giving birth is crazy. Bro. Every time, bro. Every time is insane. For one year. But then you get $100 million. I think I might do it. You think you might do it? Yeah. <sighs> Giving birth is crazy. That's what I'm saying. It's going to suck. I feel like suck. that's going to fuck up with your mental. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm be scared to take it. I'm like, taking this shit is, my, is like my sacred place, bro. Literally, bro. Oh, my God. That's how every nigga is. Yeah, bro. it's like going to the bathroom like nobody bothers no, you. Oh, my gosh. Yo, and women don't understand that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yo, bro, you know how many freaking... Memes I see how niggas is always in the bathroom. Yeah, it's because the women, it's <laughs> women, bro. And I'm sorry, I'm I'm calling you women. If you guys think it's disrespectful, fuck you. Like, <laughs> but um, ladies out there, bro, the reason why niggas be in the toilet for a long time, bro, is cause it's like a it's like a safe place, bro. Yeah. Like nobody, not not saying that you're annoying, but no. like it's like peace and quiet. Like it's like quiet and tranquility. It just it just it just feels like your pace for your own, bro. Yeah, like, you're like your own little world, bro. Literally your own little world. Like you're just on the phone, just chilling, chilling. like just uh, like away from reality for like a little for like for like a quick second and bro. it's so weird for me because it's like sometimes i don't even gotta use the you, use the bathroom i just bro, sit down in the toilet bro wait hold on <laughs> wait what wait <laughs> <laughs> i thought you was with me gang <laughs> yeah i'm by myself here <laughs> wait wait with your ass out yeah oh yeah no you wait what you mean <laughs> you're actually crazy wait you saw the toilet with like like with your pants on still wait bro wait what are you talking wait, about what do you mean <laughs> That sometimes you sit down in the toilet, which like what without taking a shit, bro. Yeah, I'm just sitting there chilling because like, but it might come out. But I'm just <laughs> chilling. I'm just like, like I ain't got. Wait, I ain't you in a gotta rush. take a piss. I'm not like sometimes, but like I'm not. <laughs> he lost me, guys. <laughs> what? Sometimes I sit like I sit with the obviously with the toilet seat cover. You just sit on the toilet. Wait, with no like, with like, like you just walk in there, and just put the toilet toilet seat down and just sit on it. Well, not really, but like, yeah, sometimes actually. Wait, why? <laughs> because it's my peace and quiet. Why don't you just pull up a chair? Pull up a chair in the toilet? <laughs> that well, is like weird. in the room, like, like at least for me, I got my pants down. I can like, like any but you moment. You don't gotta take your shit. I don't got to, but like, damn, like, if like, damn, I feel like taking this shit. I'm already ready to go. No, you don't feel like taking this shit, <laughs> bro. That's mad. <laughs> you just, yo, you tell me you might be in like you, you wearing jeans. Nah, not jeans, bro. <laughs> nah, you lost me, bro. I'm just like chilling with the sweats. <sighs> Let me just chill, bro. I just wash my hands. Let me sit down, bro. <laughs> bro, that's it, bro. That ass, bro. Nah, that's <laughs> is it, bro. That's it, bro. I'm over here. I'm like, yo, okay. I'm about to you. I'm about to go sit on this toilet. Like, I have a feeling like I might have to use the bathroom, but I also just have a feeling like I'm just want to chill. And I might. Okay, you know what? If you have a feeling that you have to use the bathroom, I understand that. Yeah. I've done that. Yeah. But you made it seem like you don't really gotta take a shit, and it's like. What as a grown man? Why are you sitting down? Why you pee? <laughs> Do your homework on what are you talking about? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> you're sitting down while you pee. Wait, time out, time out. Okay, right. All right. So <laughs> is it is it crazy? Right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. You wake up in the morning. You go, every every man everybody do it. Every man when you wake up in the morning, you always gotta take a pee or you gotta take a shit in the morning. Every every morning. Yeah. So when you wake up in the morning, is it crazy if I go take it like go to the bathroom and I'm pulling out and I and I'm sitting on the toilet, but I'm thinking I have to take a shit, but I don't take a shit, but I'm just peeing. Is that crazy? No, if you think that you got no. If you think that you gotta take a shit, I don't think that's crazy. Like some mornings, right? I just be like but if you decide <laughs> That you have to pee. If you know that you have to pee and you decide to sit down instead of standing up <laughs> to pee. Wait, why is that crazy? <laughs> why is that crazy? Because why are you peeing? Sit down. You're not a woman. 
<laughs> no. How is that not crazy? Like, what if I'm, I'm like, yo, <laughs> what if I'm too tired to stand up? No, nah, <laughs> but you got to stand up. <laughs> like, all right, bro. Yo, all right, we all right. talked about, we talked, I don't know if niggas talked about, like, when it comes to urinals, right? Yeah. Are you going to pee on a little urinal, bro? No, nah, I ain't peeing on a little urinal. You're peeing sitting <laughs> down. That's equivalent to <laughs> Wait, me, what bro. you mean? <laughs> you're sitting, you're peeing sit on, sitting down. What do you mean? Like, you're peeing if I'm sit- using a little urinal? Yes, bro. I'm not using that little urinal. Yeah, but you're peeing sitting down. That's equivalent. To me, using a little urinal? Yes. Wait. Literally. <laughs> okay, hold on. Now Literally. I got, now I got a scenario for you. Pause all this, right? In the morning, the 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 man's be, be yeah. manning. Yeah, yeah. So you be doing that standing up? You take a piss? Yeah, like, what? bro. You gotta you nah. gotta push that thing down, bro. <laughs> nah, so, you do, bro. Nah, sometimes, bro, I gotta <laughs> I gotta let the toilet seat hold my fucking down, bro. I can't do nah, bro. <laughs> so, nah, it's like sometimes, bro. It's like sometimes I wake up in the morning. It's like, all right, I'm gonna go sit on the toilet just to be on my phone, you know, chill, whatever. I might have to take a doodle, but I'm peeing. Right. But I didn't take a shit. It's like it's like I want to be on my phone and chill on my phone, so I can sit down. You know what I mean? I don't want to stand. Up. This nigga lost me, bro. I'll do that every time. I I understand the part when you feel like you gotta go take a shit. Yeah, but that like, makes sense. But like, imagine but right- you have to pee and you decide instead of standing up, <laughs> you want to sit down. That is that is crazy work, bro. I know y'all with me, bro. That is crazy work, bro. Ain't no way, bro. As a man, you stand, you sitting down instead of pee. Nah, bro. That's wait. So, do you use the little urinals? No. <laughs> I'll wait. I feel uncomfortable. No, I feel uncomfortable using them shit. Yeah, like like you're like 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 you. No, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I've I, used it before. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I, when I went to the the Sixers game, there was like a long line in the bathroom, right? Right. Like after the game, like all right, say there's a long line. And there's like urinals and stuff like that. Are you gonna wait in the urinal so you're standing next to someone, or are you going in the stalls? Going in the stalls. I'm going in the stalls immediately. I go in the stalls. I don't like going. Even in, at work. Yeah, yeah. I don't go. go I don't like going in, unless the unless the urinals <laughs> have like the walls. Yeah, it has to have the walls. If it don't if have it the, don't walls, got the walls, I'm not then, using it. Then no, nah, I'm not using it. I'm not using it. it. I'm Bro, not, I feel it has uncom- to have the walls. I feel uncomfortable. Some people say, even with the walls, nah. It, with the walls, bro, that makes me comfortable to yeah. do that. If it don't got the walls and niggas is... No, bro. I'm going in the stalls. I be feeling Crazy. so uncomfortable, bro. Crazy. You got to be people. People be looking at me or something like that. They be like, they be, you know, they be weird as I try to talk to me. Hell yeah. Nah, that's yo, crazy. Don't talk to me while I'm pissing, bro. That's OD, don't bro. Don't piss me off, That's OD. Bro. That's so, so what OD. What are you doing? Like, don't but nah, talk to me while I'm peeing. I don't think sitting down and peeing is a bad thing. I think it, I think it is crazy. It's crazy? Yeah. Like, if you just try, like, say, right? You're like, dang, bro. Like, I just been, like, I've been on, I had a long day at work. I got to use the bathroom. You know what's I'm crazy? trying to sit down and chill. You know what it is? I'm not saying I've never done it. Yeah. But you were As a grown man. <laughs> I, as a youngin', I did. Okay, look, look. Like, waking up from school, 6 o'clock in the morning, I don't want to stand up. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. I sat down and pissed. Yeah. Wait, I'm a grown man. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'll pee. Okay, I, okay. So, if you... So, like, say, right... Like like we said before, if you had to take it like had to take a number two, right. but you don't do it and you're just peeing, you've done that before. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, I've done that. But you're not voluntarily. But it, but I, I'm not voluntarily taking a piss, bro. Okay. Okay. Like, All right. Yeah, I'm not voluntarily taking a piss. Right. But like I felt like that. Oh, maybe I needed. Yeah. Use it, that. Oh, and it bitch just come out. Okay, all right, cool. all right. Which all right. I understand. Okay. I'm not voluntarily, though. Okay, all right. Just making sure, bro. All right, before we end the podcast, we have, me and Fritz are going to try the Berry Hot Challenge. So, we're taking edibles. Yeah! Yes, sir, finally. <laughs> like, uh, so, I found these in a Walgreens before, right? And mm-hmm. I looked at them, I'm like, okay. And I supposedly it's some gummy bears that's really hot. I don't know if they're going to be really... Sweet and spicy in the back? It says sweet, sweet... T- Sweet to sweat. Start sweet, 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 then it's spicy. So we're going to see. So there's 15 gummy bears in here. Hold on. This thing's pretty tightly packaged. Literally looks like an edibles package. Yeah, for real. But this this thing is strong. What the hell? Do I need scissors? Hold on. I'm about to go ballistic. Nah. Okay, I got it. I got it. What, what color you want, Fritz? 
You want green? Let me take. Let me take. How many colors are there? There's blue and there's blue and red. That's it. Yeah. So you're either gonna be team blue or team red. Which one you want to be? I'll take blue, bro. Blue. All right. All right. Let's see if this is really spicy. You ready? Three, two, one. All right, sweet. It tastes like them sour punch drawers. <laughs> oh, I hear. I, I taste yeah, it. I feel it's bad. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> when, I, when I swallowed it. It ain't that bad, though. I th- it ain't bad. <laughs> now, you definitely taste a kick. I think you got to. But oh. it, it ain't. You, you want to do multiple? Yeah, I think that's what you're supposed to do. You got to keep going so you can't take the heat no more. You got to. Let's take multiple at the time. Oh, like oh, like a lot. Yeah. Oh shit! Like three at a time, four at a time. All right, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take these four here. One. It tastes. It literally tastes just like the, the freaking um, sour punch straws though. Yeah. All right, ready? I got four. Me and Fritz <clears> both <throat> got four. Ready? Three, two, one. Make sure there's no warning labels on this thing. It definitely is sweet. In the beginning. It says warning, fully chew one at a time. Oh. <laughs> well. Mm. It like. It like hurts your throat. I didn't taste the. I didn't taste the heat at that time. The heck, really? <sighs> like nothing. You want more? Yeah, let me taste the heat. Let me... Ah. Yeah, let me taste no heat. Really? Mm-mm. The heck? Yeah, fresh from the Caribbean, but they don't like they love heat down there. <laughs> oh. Nigga gassing. Nah, like I feel it though. Like it's spicy. Like it's in the back of my throat. Pause. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> but it's not bad. Wow. Easy. Uh, was it worse when you just ate one? Yeah. That's weird. Like, I, like it feels like it's like it's like when you eat multiple of it, like you don't it taste cancels it out or some shit. What like, the heck? It's weird. Yeah, try the red ones. Maybe you gotta try yeah, the Yeah, try the red yeah, let me try the red ones. Let me try the blue ones. Let me try multiple of the red ones. Maybe the blue is less. Yeah, try three. I got three of the red ones. Alright. It's not that spicy, like it's not. It's just like when you swallow, that's when the spice just like hits you. Do you feel it? Yeah, I think the red spicy. I think the red is spicy. Really? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I ain't never eating that again. Oh my god! Like it's not that bad. Like it's, it's not, not bad. It's not bad. Like, like it's the not, red is definitely spicier. Like it's not nothing like I'm gonna be uncomfortable for the rest of the day. But it's yeah. like it's like a feeling of like it ain't no spicy chip challenge. Nah, it's not no spicy. I'm not even gonna try that. I'd be afraid to try that because I heard somebody freaking died, died from that. Of that yeah. I'm like yeah, nah. Was a young kid, I think. Yeah, I'm cool off that. But you got anything else to say before we end the podcast, Fritz? I think this is a very good podcast. Yeah, we're pretty pretty productive. We talked about a lot of shit. We laughed. We I hope y'all enjoyed it just as much as we enjoyed it. Yeah, you know, that's we, all that matters. We, we laughed. We talked about some other shit, you know, little conspiracy shit. But of course, you know, it, I hope y'all enjoyed the podcast, man. We definitely did. But, yeah. yeah. So before we end off, we're gonna shout out everybody on our Patreon. So make sure y'all subscribe. Like I said, we got a lot more content coming up there. I'm gonna be <laughs> posting a lot of short extra contents that we've been doing at the end of the podcast. So if you guys want to tune into that, subscribe to our Patreon. So shout out to all our free members. We have a new free member. Shout out to Terrence Schaffner. Shout out to you. You just joined two days ago. My boy Terrence. Terrence, Welcome to the family. Shout out to Gangster Gamer GSG. Also, I think you joined like a month ago. And now, hold on. I got to look at the real list. Hold on. Where the big boy list at? That nigga Wemby dropped 50. He dropped 50? Eight eight three-point shots. Wow. That's crazy. Chet now around. I going stupid. All right. Shout out to everybody on our free subscribers. We got Jalen Strong, Darnell Vandervey. Levi O'Neal, Jordan Smith, Javarian Jackson, how about you, Dibuzibashibidu, I Heart Big Booty Freaks, Farmington Fleming, Gene Paul Sr., shout out to Junior, Summer McIntyre, Robert Shelton, O'Shea, Drew, Jaquavion, Jesse Rodriguez, Kev, Rob Quash, 
Cal, Noah, Noah DeShiel, Isabel Graham, Leek, DJ Wills, Ramon Padilla, Alyssa Smith, Laquell Ingram, Tyrone Bowles, Corey Penn, King Fry. Shout out to everybody that subscribed to our Patreon as our free subscriber list. But now we're going to the big spenders, the people that's paying the money for us. And don't worry, y'all people are going to get more content. And you're also going to get early access to every episode at least a couple days early in advance. I'm going to try to do it at least a day in advance. But if I'm going to try to do it a little bit more just so it's more exclusive for y'all. So we got second round steals. Those are people that's paying $5 a month. We got DJ Khalid and Trey Simmons. Because some of y'all some of y'all exited out. It was crazy work. But we got our first round lottery pick. So this is the group that's paying $10 a month. Shout out to y'all. We got Tavon Cox and Lillian Poole. So thank y'all again for subscribing to our Patreon. More content coming soon. And like I said, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of No Regulars Podcast. Make sure y'all like, comment, all that good stuff, post notifications. And yeah, if you guys have anything you want us to talk about in the pod, feel free to DM either me, Fritz, or the page or the podcast page on Instagram at no regulars.podcast. And yeah, we gonna be we see y'all next week. We different than regular regs, man, gangster. Yes,